Oh, hello, little watcher. I see you too have a vested interest in stories. Those told through words and actions are always the most intriguing, are they not? The ones where we discover the true metal of a creature, held to the fire, born by destruction, carried by empathy. Here's one such story. It begins so long ago it's hard to keep track. For me, it begins on the first world, but for you, it begins on a train. To all those who hear, let us gather to witness the folds of time. Can you see the golden woods of Doncast? Why does the first Hoth kingdom stand yet without a king? Do you recognize the glistening beaches of holy water? Why do the forgetters purge memories for pleasure when all they get is pain? Can't you hear the screaming siblings? A planet and a realm both abandoned and forgot. Know now my proclamation. These are your savior's words. The God War has ended. Let there now be peace on Karth, or forever know my wrath. As the good king's word shook the realm, so the God War ended. Now, a thousand years later at the apex of Span Divine, the realm of Karth stands alone against the Univale, abandoned by its creator. For the free, from the proper into the wild, a world's worth of creatures fight, live, and prosper from the Empire States of Karth Free to the world capital of Shimmermore and Karth proper. As creatures live, species die, each new turn gives to a volume, each new volume gives to a wave, and all is just a tad sadder than the one before. A train the size of a city rumbles forward, a translucent veil deflecting wayward eyes from seeing the real picture. At the back of the train, hidden away beneath the six-split district in the now-abandoned Grand Back Markets, a single believer awaits salvation. Van, would you like to describe your character for everybody? Sure. Uh, Van is a six-foot-five bold runner. Yeah, a Ronar which... bold runner. Yeah. Ronar bold runner, which for um, normal human terms is <laughs> a bunny man. He's a big old bunny <laughs> man. <laughs> He's a big old bunny man. Uh, he has, I mean, he's got his two ears, which are a little bit leaned backwards. Like they're, they're pointed up, but you know, they're gravitating towards He's got like a, like man backwards. bun little slick back. of little, ears. Little, little, slick little back mini shirt, like sure. ponytail slick back ears. Mm -hmm. uh, he is wearing just like, he's got loose black fitting pants and boots. Uh, he wears just a, a jergen like over his midsection that covers about half his body, where around his shoulders, he has a tattered, but uh, impressive shimmering silver cloak that he wears donned around his shoulders. He also on his person and usually on his face has the front half of a skull that is used as a faceplate. Yeah. Like right up over his nose to his to the top of his <clears throat> forehead, basically. And as you described to me, he looks like a bunny version of uh, which character from Full, Mo Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> basically, if you take Armstrong <laughs> yeah. from Full Metal Alchemist and mix him with Guts from Berserk and make it and a then bunny make them yeah. a bunny, <laughs> yeah. you have Van. That's, that's Van. That's Van. Sweet. You are on your back. You are getting the life beat out of you across the rift. On the, in the wasted world, you heard a voice, and you knew, at this time, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you knew that this was the end. But you, as time slowed and the final punch went into your jaw, blood dripping from your uh, cracked lips, you heard a <gasps> voice. Yeah, there you go. A voice said, this world sure is broken. Don't you want to do something about it? And you answered. Yes. Sick. A white uh, rip rift breaks through the air, shimmering down mm -hmm. as your body is pulled through it. 
your vision, your mind, everything that exists to you in this moment, there on the edge of death, um, goes blank. Time stops existing. There is no before, there is no ahead, there is only this moment. As you are suspended and seemingly saved, your vision goes dark as you, being a Ronar, cannot exist in such a state. As you lose consciousness, you come to as the white flashes in your eyes and another rip happens now in this blank, stateless white expanse in the air as a uh, dark room is shoved at you and your body gets thrust right through it and you just go like shoving like shooting like a catapult downward from a roof into a uh, down into a floor your you, your body just hits <laughs> boxes you skid into this room crash through and you are <coughs> somewhere <coughs> yeah yeah <coughs> Oh god. Bloodied, beat, and <sighs> I mean what at like one HP, three HP, I think we said. Three. Three, yeah. At three HP, you are now not on the world of Earth. You are now not being dragged by those death guard. You are somewhere very different. Okay. What do I see? Roll a perception check. Uh, that is uh, a 13. 13. As you sit yourself up, you crashed. Came, you came in crashing through crates and barrels. Um, first and <sighs> foremost. Oh, actually, um, let's take a look at your character sheet real quick. I think you have advantage on perception checks, do you not? I think I do, actually. Remember your stuff. I do. I do have when it When it uses your hearing, when it just like, or smells or something, right? Yeah, when it uses uh, hearing or smelling. What does it say? Proficiency in perception investigations. You have advantage on all perception and, inv and investigation checks include involving hearing or smelling so if you would like to use either of those for this check you get to roll two d20s pick the higher one because you have advantage on it Ooh, we're rolling again no we're gonna take that first one okay. that, was a, <laughs> that was a one Fantastic. <laughs> um, with uh with this you sit yourself up and one of the first things you notice is the floor that you are sitting on is humming, vibrating almost, a very low thrumming you can feel beneath your paws. It's not shaking you, but if you concentrate on it enough, it's there. Off in the distance, beyond the walls that you seem to be sitting in, like a 20 by 20 foot room, um, you hear like a crash, like the breaking of glass, just like tsh, tsh, off in the distance. <clears throat> Around you, bags of flour, crates of fresh fruits and vegetables waft like through your nose as you're sitting there smelling and sensing boxes of spices smell of sweet and tangy elements sizzling at your nose um this is like you're starting to see that you are for basically in some sort of back room warehouse mm. the walls are lined with um, the right wall is lined with crates of all different types of like foods and salts, spices. Um, as you pick yourself up, I assume, and just kind of like look around a little bit. Um, yeah. Are there any? Are there any windows that I can look out of? Or no windows. The okay. the wall behind you, which is the west wall, is crates. Middle of the room is a lot of barrels and crates, more crates. The north wall seems to have some sort of metal, gigantic metal contraption, kind of like a giant tube that goes from floor to ceiling. Um, the It's glass uh, in the middle of it, see-through and cold to the touch. There's uh, There seems to be like blobs of sustenance suspended within and um, a shimmering like haze seems to come off the glass um, the far wall uh, there's more crates on that wall and the corner between them there's this huge uh, what's it called like a massive wool sheet lining it 
right? Like hiding off that back corner. And then your wall to your right, the south wall, has what seems like the only door in the room. Okay. I'm going to carefully get myself up and kind of maneuver mm-hmm. over to the corner, I guess, closest to me, behind me. Sure. I'm just going to lean myself up, and I'm going to use a key point to do hand of healing on myself. Oh, sweet. Very quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you are literally, <laughs> you are <laughs> beat within an inch of death almost. Yeah. Let's go ahead and heal for five really quickly. Okay. I, I would like to try and use my amazing... Uh, Ronar is it the Ronar or the bold runner part? That's the bunny. Part. Ronar is the species altogether, and bold runner is the type, like the race within that species. So you are, yeah. Gotcha. So the bold runner stats are the thing that are specific to your bunny man. All right. Well, I'm using those stats to try and hear, use my amazing hearing to see if yeah. I hear anything. Like anything people, more. Yeah, anything more than... I heard the glass, but Mm -hmm. can I hear anything coming from that direction? Like, is there anything there? Currently, um, the only thing other that you pick up is as you look up at the ceiling, um, there is a conveyor belt that seems to be going from that giant tube in the back. A conveyor belt that's scooping up, like, whatever sustenance out, running up to to the ceiling along the walls Mm -hmm. and out towards little uh like not even like one foot holes but like like these little like metal arms are going into the vat picking up meats and just like going outside through the ceiling on either side but that's about the crux of what you hear okay well in that case i'm a little bit healing to dust myself off and uh head towards that door the only door in the room David. Oh, I just felt it. <laughs> you knew. You knew. You knew. It's not good. What's that? Dareem, will you please describe yourself for the party, for the audience, for everybody? Okay. Um, I am a Warforged creation. Um, my skin is made of craftable metal that can basically decompose and be built off of um i wear a cloak that that, like has a hood that kind of covers my body um my eyes are ruby crystal red um my face i would say looks essentially like just a metal skull like i guess you could it's like i picture kind of like the iron giant but like more expressive (laughs) i guess in my in my mind i picture like a uh, the MCU's Ultron's like little brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the, a vibe. The cool, <laughs> cute little little Ultron brother. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, with that being said, like my body is covered in metal that is essentially like armor skin. Um, and yeah, I would say I uh, I stand in at around like five. That's canon. Yeah. Five ten it is. Yeah. Um and yeah, that's that's pretty much what I am and what I look like. Um I don't like the only bit of clothes that I do wear is that cloak. Um I don't have any like gender um body parts, I guess you could say. Uh so yeah, that is like I don't have any shoes, just everything is is metal metal body man here. sweet um, oh. i forgot to add that i had brown fur that is important oh. to me yeah and i want that, that to be canon yeah, absolutely canon yeah. make sure that hell yeah brown. that's that's canon <laughs> it's, a brown, it's a brown bunny and let it begin bunny, that's canon <laughs> because <laughs> that's not gonna be the first and it won't be the last <laughs> oh god uh i want y'all to understand you're adding canon to book worlds of mine like as you nice. do your be yourself and that's very exciting Dareem the little robot boy who could <laughs> the Unimate not that little um, not that little he's actually huge the Fisser uh, I've got a young I've got a young spirit yeah though, the Fisser mm-hmm. Fuse mm-hmm. Unimate yeah. 
who looks like Ultron's uh, geeky little brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so like honestly I just thought about like just kind of how to describe what I want him to look like and that was the best thing that could have come to my mind <laughs> well we're about to get real sad you stand oh, yeah. on the empire of steel the lands crushed as your dad murdered his way through this empire before you Dusted to the skull, your friend lays dead. You grab your other half of your pendant, taking it back, the thing that led you here in the first place, your little hoverboard under one hand, the pendant in the other, and you hear a voice. This world sure is broken. Don't you want to do something to fix it? I do. White line opens in the air and you feel your body sucked through and transported the world existence itself becomes white you are a being who does not need to breathe to be awake you do not need air to survive so you find yourself awake floating except you're not moving There is not necessarily weight to your existence right now. Though as you look down at your hands, your feet, and you flex through all of your joints and your digits, they are responsive. And you are compelled forward through this white nothing. To the right, off in the distance, at the very edge of your peripheral, you swear you can see a bit of shadow growing in the white nothing like an ink blot dripping on a white canvas. Two golden little eyes stare at you, seeming to notice you through it. As soon as you see it, gone. The white exists. You fly through, um, gotta pull up a table. You fly through, um, as off again in your peripheral, um, colors of red, blue, brown, purple, black, gold, and gray just sparkle like energy off, off, way in the distance, but the white is all you are. You see, standing before you, a figure of a woman, long hair, shimmering for just a second. She has a flowing white cowboy-esque dress dress like it looks like it would be from like the show Westworld basically Uh, she has this white flowing dress um, and a she has a crown on her head that has basically like uh, uh, an actual band but then floating off of it are thorns racked around each other but don't seem to be touching her head but go with Um, she takes her hand she rips through the white and then she looks over notices that you see her and she's gone and in a moment this all happens at the speed of a year it all happens at the speed of a second it all happens at the speed of eternity and everything at once wherever you are you are getting ripped through the white and you're here all at the same time and I would actually like you to make a Wisdom uh, saving throw for me. Is Christ already? <laughs> Alrighty. Um, wisdom saving throw coming right up, baby. Oh, God. Can't just see eternity, <laughs> Scott Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> that's a three. Yeah, that's a three. Um, three. The weight of this new something, this new way to comprehend. Um, existence itself starts to crush down on you and as you um, as you find yourself going forward it all becomes a jumbled hazy mess it becomes harder to recollect as you're flying forward you cannot Mm -hmm. like you're trying to remember where was I just then and you remember your life up to that point but all of this moment in the white 
it's a little weird and it kind of sucks, but I don't think Doreen, based off that save, can recollect it perfectly going forward. There's like going to be some little yeah, memories cool. here and there, like flashes of things, RP that as you will, but a perfect visage of them are seem to be lost to him. It's all blotchy. It's very blotchy. There was a woman. There was golden eyes. I don't know. Like that. Like yeah. this is starting to crumble within itself as you hear. Um, uh, you hear a crash off in the distance, and as you look forward, um, a sliver is in the air, opening into like this like dark hole, dimly lit, as you find yourself being thrusted towards this hole. Do you do anything special? Um, You're going in. Your body's stretching. Mm, it's coming no, back together. Not really. Yep, and I you... Guess, um, <laughs> No, I'm just I'm just going right now. You and right through the hole, and I'm going to say, um, uh, from uh Van, from across the room, the floor opens up in a shimmer of white, and shooting through the floor out of nowhere this five foot ten robot um look like set like you have seen the concepts of robots more or less being from earth right and especially watching some like movies throughout the days and stuff this but you've never seen a creature like this before in your life it's just flailing through shot like and then coming back down to the ground as the white light collapses in on itself. Dareem, you are shot into the room. You are six feet into the air and falling down. Make a dexterity um, save. Do I still throw. have my hoverboard with me? Yes, you do. <laughs> you got Is it there under any way to try and like toss that down? Make a make a dexterity saving throw, right? Or like an acrobatics or an agility check. So which one dexterity saving uh, throw or make a make a Acro oh, is acrobatics dexterity or strength uh, uh acrobatics is based off dexterity yeah make an acrobatics yeah. uh check bro you trying to tony hawk your way into the first place of <laughs> my D, &D game <laughs> <laughs> wow um, the very least 14 okay 14 i'll say that like you you've jumped off some stuff too in your time like in the castle so you you come roaring through the floor and you set that thing how do, how do you put the put your hoverboard between your feet and land accordingly <laughs> um all right well you know i'm it's in my right hand so i'm just gonna like toss it down and it'll like touch my um it, it'll get right at like my right ankle and then i'll sort of like kick i like kind of like kick flip it in there not kick flip but uh you can kick flip it, it? Called, uh, pop yeah, shove uh, it <laughs> what is yeah I'll pop shove it to uh pop shove it to the other leg and get it like a nice smooth landing okay you know, pop shove. I, I don't know i guess uh how intense am i going in like do i have enough momentum to do like three pop shove it's like <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to just because you you, you do three pop shove it's and with a 14, basically what you see, uh, Van, is this dude goes, Whoa! and then he spins with his hand underneath him, uh, metal, his feet, because it's like a, like a, um, it's basically like a snowboard, right? His metal feet, <laughs> and then literally connect to the board underneath his feet. He brings his knees up to his chest, and then one foot pops off as he spins the other one, like on a screw, basically, <laughs> like at three times, and then lands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and <then> just <laughs> lands. <laughs> and uh, a superhero landing, and I just kind of like raise up and like look around like, what the? F um, I guess, do I see him? Yeah, make a perception check. You definitely see each other. Well, I don't know. Are you hiding? No, I was. I was at the door. I was reaching for yeah. the door when yeah. this happened. Perception check eleven. You uh, see basically 11. all the stuff I described before, <laughs> and <laughs> and you see crates on the wall on the north wall. There's a big old vat. Like you see the room at large, and leaving the south door is this large. 
uh, Ronar Bold Runner, this huge bunny man. You've seen this type of creature before. Um, you've done some sort of like you like you. I know you haven't interacted with a ton of stuff, but you know that this is a common creature of of Karth. So you see him, and he's looking back at you. I mean you no harm. But where are we? Where is this? I look at him. Shake my head twice. Look at him again. <laughs> then turn towards the door and continue to pull. I got hit way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, going to attempt to open the door. <laughs> uh, the door is locked and it does not open. <sighs> the handle jiggles. It does not give. <sighs> All right. I'll bite. Turn to look at him. Was it you who sent me here? No. I don't know how I am here. Or why I'm here. I'm Dream. You can call me Van. It looks like you saw it too. The light. Yes. Um, I don't understand what I saw. Well, I understand this. We need to get out of this room. So, is there danger? Hopefully not. I'm gonna attempt to look for another exit. Okay, you start doing that. Heppen, please explain Heppen for us. My name is Heppen Venaria. Mm -hmm. I am a three foot five. There. <laughs> yep. Um, I, it's a fairy. I have wings. <laughs> I got uh, green eyes. I'm mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little stabby. I'm real nice, though. Mm -hmm. um, I've lived on a pirate ship for a good chunk of time, so mm -hmm. I'm a little piratey. Um, <laughs> but I, uh, Heppen loves to draw portraits of people. So Heppen, his love language, their love language, can go by any pronouns mm -hmm. is um uh portraits portraits beautiful mm -hmm. happen it's just yes it's just another <laughs> sweet night in prison you know <laughs> yeah Normal your mom's the fucking worst it's just true mm -hmm. your mom's Listen. the worst you've accepted Don't it come around you know that you're not going to spend Probably forever not. here, though, right? Like, yeah. like it's we're, you're going to get out. You've yeah, slowly, there's not much I can do. Yeah, you've collected it. You've never run actually before, but there's a first time for everything. You've collected all your stuff. It's another night in prison. and Maybe one day when I'm a real... As, as we discussed, you hear a voice. This world sure seems broken, doesn't it? Yeah, and as I remember, you called the voice Sarah in our break, break call, which I would, you don't have to keep, but oh, I'd love yeah. to keep because you're just like, I want to call you Sarah. And like, <laughs> yeah, we can definitely keep that. Yeah. Yeah. So I the, forgot that I did that because that was really funny. Yeah. So the voice just goes, you can call me that. Would you like to um, fix it with me? Um, you're gonna like, you know, you're sound pretty cool. Sure, let's go. <laughs> this, I promise, I'm not here to hurt you or your friends. I've been watching for a while. This is just another big adventure. Okay, let's go. Follow me, and you a white light r just rips through the air in front of you and starts pulling you in. You grab your stuff, you got your stuff under your arms, and you just poof, sucked through. As the white takes over your psyche, um, as you're flying through, everything just gets a little muddied and you kind of forget like where, like, oh, Oh, right, right, all right, all right. As you, like, not, I don't think it's like a, oh, I'm losing consciousness. It's just more of like, 
riding the wave of like now we're doing this as the world just disappears Talk, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and um as you come to a white light um the whiteness surrounds you and a uh in front of you another rip just rips throughout the whiteness and this dark room stands in front of you and thrusts you through into it um and you are now in our little storage room as you come rippling through um you have wings and can fly so i'm assuming that you come from the side into the middle of the room and just stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of there. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, yeah. what y'all's? Yeah. Y'all for? both see a three on? foot five, essentially like a fairy person, um, like big, beautiful wings on the back with two little wings on top of their head that flitter back and forth um, with two with a rapier at their side, like in kind of pirate gear. And like like y'all have heard stories, especially growing up on Karth, of the great trindom of Theria, of that pirate kingdom of essentially Ther and Threen and the, the the spirit people that live there of like this pirate land hovering in the air before you. Hep is there as the white, the white disappears behind. <laughs> I like reach into my pouch and pull out like my jar of peanut butter and <laughs> <laughs> Just take a take a <laughs> Yeah. Ha how do you buckaroos? <laughs> Did Sarah send you here too? Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, the voice that said something about changing the world or I don't know, whatever. Wait, you Is... heard the same voice? Yeah, Sarah. Do you know? He has some Sarah? cool ears. Yo, that's a dope mask. Did you make it? No, I didn't. Well, was it a gift? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Did you find it? You steal it. I found it. Oh, cool. It's dope. Mm. I like and flutter I, over, like yeah, over, over six, the robot how, man. How big are you? Six five? Six five. Like. You may be the size of like here to here on him, right? Like, yeah. Just, oh yeah, I'm just like fluttering around yeah. his head. Just like, does the height include like maximum ear point too, or is that or like that from to foot here. to like top of head? That's from to top of head. Oh, with ears, wow. with ears, <laughs> I'm almost six eight. Yeah, almost six yeah. eight with ears. Yeah. Yeah. Just my a ears, good seven. My ears foot. are usually yeah. my ears are usually down unless I'm excited. You know, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A, like a puppy. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. I just I love <laughs> Peyton the visual. As soon as that you uh, you floated over to Dareem, the robot, the a creature you have literally never seen anything like before in your life. My eyes are just kind of <laughs> like yeah, like looking as you know as they are uh, flying around. I think I'm just intrigued because I don't think I've ever seen a fair. Sure. There, um, there may have been one um, in the castles at some point, but like you spent a pretty but like never like yeah really no not like this not this close yeah like and I've never quite interacted it at the very least with a fair. So. I think you've interacted with two uh, creatures total, right? <laughs> I don't think yeah, you, yeah, for the yeah. Most part. I mean, not. three at least. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, three ish. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> yeah. And a no, Yellow. hey there. Friend, you're shiny. Uh, I just kind of reach my hand out in offerings of of them to land. Uh, well, they're not that small. <laughs> they're three foot five. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. But, you do, but I, you do. But you do. He does this. Yeah, just. <laughs> I'm gonna like. I'm gonna. <laughs> you can put your head in his hands. I'm just gonna go over and stand on his hands yeah. and start tap yeah. dancing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all, you look, yeah. Uh, nice little... Van, you look up as hips what just kind of. Interesting. Mm hmm. Interesting. You, and then I'm gonna like go over and I'm gonna do like a knock, knock, knock <laughs> on your head. Is this me like. Human bits, or you made a metal? Um, 
I am completely made of metal. Oh. So is it Every, like all... I kind of, I just show my, like, my whole body. <laughs> he opens up his cloak in front of you and you see just like metal folds what is on the, the metal most folds. advanced piece of technology I've ever seen? You've seen some pretty advanced stuff. Um, there aren't, I don't know if you've ever even fought, like there's definitely some constructs you may have fought, like a very rudimentary, like there's cannons, flying ships. Um, the world at large is extremely technologically advanced. It is like a high sci-fi, uh, but meets fantasy setting for sure. But the intricacy of this creature actually talking to you, responding like another species, right? Like another Thayer. Like you have never seen anything like this. Wow. Um, <laughs> very, very cool. Did you make this yourself? Who m- were you made? Did you just like reborn? I, I was created. Created like by a god? I would not say a god, no. Oh, so just like, wait, so could you like teach me to make one of you? Maybe in time. I've never thought to create one of my own. Jax. <laughs> As this conversation is happening. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Um, we're Green. gonna... We're... Yeah, so... Hep, Dareem, Van standing over the corner. Um, the world is white. The world is nothing and everything. Mm-hmm. You see, very similarly, as I said to Dareem, bits of color sparking off in the distance, swirling. All it's like eight different, seven different types of color swirling off in your peripheral that you know... Yeah, I could get there. Um, mm. And as that same figure smiles at you, bows her head, she is there and then she's gone for it's just a second. Like it's like an after image. Can Jack speak in this place? You could certainly try. Jack tries to like move his mouth. And does, does like the sounds come out? <laughs> um, no sounds come out. But whatever you're thinking, what what are you mm-hmm. thinking? What are you trying to say? He's he's she's like he's like bye mom. Yeah. As you think bye yeah. mom, um, this this creature bows her head, disappears, and then through the white opening, um, the 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 dark. Uh, world of this wonderful meeting spot rushes into you except Mm. you you come in so if this is the square you come in from the top right and as Mm -hmm. you come in you flip like you've done this before hands out and just hover gently down to the ground and land And uh, before you, everybody, out of the corner of the room, literally, what you saw is energy crackling, exploding. And as the white opens up again, a fourth creature, another creature, comes running in, uh, just flying it, flying in, front flips, and then lands softly onto the ground. And they see. Uh, you see what would be equivalent of maybe like twelve to fourteen year old boy. He's got. Um, <laughs> Like a, a white tunic, like kind of like white tea beige tunic kind of vibe with some beige pants and some leather boots of a similar tan color to his pants. Are you a paddle? He kind of just <laughs> he's a little bit, you know. Uh, he's got he's got like medium length blonde hair, sh- like shimmering blue eyes, and he's just got like this. He's just he's got a smile on his face, uh, oh. and he kind of just he kind of so he lands and stands and then doesn't move. <laughs> And he's just kind of standing there like this. Yeah. You have blonde, like slicked hair that almost like forms together as one, almost right. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And they look, they look more like actual strands of hair. Okay. They, they fall a little nat- more natural than that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would and say that. This um, face wise, dis- try to describe what it looks like. He looks like. So, like, his smile face looks like, um, 
like a, a male version, like American Girl doll, smile like <laughs> generic blank smile face. Like a Ken yeah. doll? Yeah. Like, and, a, like, but like, like a small boy, like, like a small a child, year old. but yeah. A small, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he also, uh -huh. his ears for everybody in the room, most people, most species from Karth have either like really super square ears or like long, like elf ears almost, right? Um, his ears are noticeably like what we would know as a humans too, as he's uh, standing there. His body mm -hmm. also does not have joints the way like this would like muscles going in right it's like smooth bend smooth hand right damn that was just you showing yeah. off them arms no, baby no, we no, see you no, we no, see no, you no, no, no. <laughs> There's nothing going on over here. There's nothing going on over here. No, 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 stop. Okay. Okay, you can look again if you want. You could probably see his wrist joints, but yeah, you could yeah, really yeah. see like his elbows and shoulders. Mm. But, but they, I'm they trying to describe smooth. Astro Boy without describing Astro Boy. <laughs> like it's, it's no, kind of yeah, 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 yeah. the feel, right? Because uh -huh. it's got this uh, uh -huh. Astro Boy Mega Man-esque vibe to him as yeah, he like, stands there. It's like a mix of Mega Man, Astro Boy, and Zatch Bell all in one, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, how tall is, is Jax? He's like five two, five five. like mm -hmm. he's, he's not tall. He's like, he's a kid right before they hit any type of growth spurt. Mm -hmm. So at most he would be like five two. Mm. Right? Even then I think that's pretty tall for a 12 year old. Yeah. You yeah. land and you're standing there mm -hmm. and y'all are all in the room. Yeah. Okay, now I've seen enough. <laughs> I'm literally from my corner. I'm gonna slink down, mm -hmm. just sit, uh, arms on knees, and attempt to take a short rest. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that. Yeah. Um, if we complete, I guess thirty minutes or an hour. An hour is a short rest. Um, is that right or is it 30 minutes? It's an hour, right? Hour. If we complete an hour in this room, then you can roll your hit die. Um, you do still have that smell of like there's uh, just was a refresher for everybody. There's crates in the middle of the room, barrels and crates stacked with all different types of spices. And uh, along the walls on the north wall is a vat that has some sort of meats that little metal hands are like scooping down into and running on a conveyor belt that's along the ceiling, outer ceiling, uh, onto the back wall, uh, out of the room um there is a door to the north or to the south wall and then in the back corner there's just a large um like wool drapery that's pulled over like that back corner but this is your room and here you are uh van has sat down i i, I don't think i have yet but i'll like kind of disconnect from my uh, hoverboard uh and like go to the ground um and I just kind of look at. I'm sorry, Skyler. What is your character's name? Uh, his name is Jax. Okay, yeah, I don't well, I think. Jax, uh, yeah, I don't think um, Jax has said. He hasn't said his name. Yeah, but. yeah. I, I just want. I, I look towards his mm -hmm. character, um, and I guess I'm studying slash intrigued by him. Um, child, are are you all right? Uh, you hear in your head. There's no mouth movement whatsoever. You hear in your head, uh, what is all right? <laughs> what? All right? I'm, I, I'm, I don't know if I know this term. And as you think that, it clicks like <laughs> as things start to warm up a little bit of like, yeah, all right. The term for am I OK? Am I currently in danger? Am I currently in harm? No, I don't think so. I'm uh -huh. standing here. This is where I'm supposed to be. Huh? Maybe I you am. see his the facial expression go from smile to, <laughs> to blank face back to smile. Huh? And then he just, cause he's like, I, I am uh, like, no, no speaking. I am right. all right. In yeah. your head. What's does only, theory? does only he hear that or do we all he, hear yeah, it? He only, he's only he can hear it at this moment. Okay. I'm just talking. Yeah. You're um, talking and then they're staring at each other. Yeah. 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 
You're sitting in the corner Ooh, of the room. Not much of a talker then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Hep has flown over. <laughs> Just <Yeah. ooh. laughs> This little three foot five. <laughs> yeah. Um. Talk. <laughs> ah. Ooh. So and then Jack starts like moving his mouth and stuff and just doing random warp like voice warm up exercises. He's just like, what? Okay. Uh talking. Are we, are we hearing this? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. You you were starting to hear things come out of his mouth. Sorry. Yeah. And okay. see, and, uh -huh. yeah, he just starts talk. Oh. It's like it's like someone <laughs> just realized they had vocal cords and they could use them for the first time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah, I know sometimes talking's hard after a long night. Yeah. Thinking. Uh, out. What's a night? I, uh, Dark. I, I kneel. Outside? <laughs> or actually, it's when it's pur purple outside. Oh, Blue yeah. might. Purple. From True. the corner. Right? Did I'm I get so that right? I'm so proud of y'all. Yeah, look at both of you. <laughs> yeah. And uh -huh, as he says, uh -huh. gloom height, you, a picture of the world literally if you were to stand in the middle of karth uh proper and look up into the sky the whole world in this moment is in your mind pictured like a bent uh wide angle almost you can see mm -hmm. the horizon and in this brief little second you just have daytime and it's gold above and it's golden white it literally shifts and turns into uh, as as this dark, gloomy purple takes over the sky. Nighttime happens, and this the day night cycle. You go, oh yeah, I know what that is, and yeah, yeah. Mm. Gloom height, and I don't remember what sun sunrise is called. Golden white. Gold. Golden yeah, golden white. I think. Oh, I nailed it. Golden white. Yeah. The rotation uh, of uh, the tracking of time in Karth as a whole. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh huh. The concept. I, of I don't know. Uh, one uh, each each passing golden white to gloom height consists of a turn. Um, Forty turns later um, would consist of a volume. Eight volumes later would consist of a wave. Like yeah, these terms. Yeah. Jack starts like quoting basic <laughs> yeah. ideas of time as like yeah. he's yeah. pulling information from something almost. I, uh, uh, I kneel. Good job, son, did you get, just get out of <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> I uh, kneel down towards him and I mm -hmm. just say, You are a <laughs> special child. Special child. Oh, wait, that's like all right, right? But like unique at the same time, right? Exquisite. Oh. Um, uh, Dareem, go ahead and make an arcana check for me. Oh, I... Do you have anything special for arcana checks? Uh, let me just I think it. you uh -huh. kind of do. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty proficient in it. Let me pull up the old correcto shot. Uh, I rolled a twenty-three though. Wow, <laughs> yeah, I, brother! Uh, <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> uh, me advantage on investigation checks that have to do with learning, understand, breaking, and making objects. Uh, no, I don't. Mm. I just got a nice little little. Uh, Plus. You have a plus seven? What did I do? Yeah, you? Arcana. All it's, right. it's real nice. Um, <laughs> it's real nice. <laughs> cool. It's kind of cool. Or with whatever. Your, with your Chill. twenty, with your twenty-three, as you bend down and you look a little bit, and you're not touching him, but you're just kind of like yeah, no. scoping it out, and you like pull out like one of your like little like the things that you usually work with, right? Um, yeah. You notice something very similar. This thing before you, while his skin looks like skin to the passing eye, it seems to be more plastic than mm. skin. And as you're looking over him with a 23, this seems to be a fellow creature that is also not made of flesh and bone. Hmm. There's only one creature. I don't know if you've ever really thought about it, but there's only one creature you know of that is not made of flesh and bone, and that is you. And you hear my thoughts? Uh, no. I've never tried. Let me try. 
What are you thinking right now? <laughs> um, I don't I'm gonna, gonna think, give up. I'm gonna say thinking. I'm gonna think. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you thinking right <laughs> now? <laughs> oh man, um, this is so weird. Okay, um, it's not weird. That <laughs> is the scenario that's weird. I, I, I'm thinking yeah. that we are um, we are one and the same. That that's what is my actual thought. Um, I don't know if I'm pretty sure that Jax not. does not hear that. Correct. Oh, okay, cool. Or does he? <laughs> Technically, so, uh, yeah, he. I can hear him. Because you mind linked him? Yeah. Amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, we are singular? We are, no, no, not singular. We are <laughs> the same. Um, so are they were just, like, you? Staring at they are currently just staring at each other. Sorry, I was reading a <laughs> like, thing. Like, I was reading a, a home rules rule thing that I made up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, no, it's totally okay. Um, this is going to happen a lot, and I love this stuff. And this is like the nitty gritty part of D anD. d David, were you trying to speak to him with your thoughts? Um, after I asked the question, I just wanted to know if he could read. Like, I, I was just investigating, I guess, a little more. So you um, said oh, we are one in the same. I said we are one in the same in my head. So yes, I, I wanted him to hear that. He did hear that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they are. Mm-hmm. There are these two, and I want to paint a little picture for you. Hep is you're just kind of hovering over, maybe a little tap dancing, <laughs> just in the air, just like mm, okay. And Van, you're sitting in the corner, like there head are down, these just <laughs> two creature types. Van, you have seen humans. You have seen spirit demons. You have seen all every creature that exists on Karth. You have seen so many things. And for the first time in your 30 years, you are, it's been a while. You are seeing these two odd, kind of off, one of a kind things just staring at each other <laughs> as they meet for the first time. Same, same for you, Hep. For all, all of the creatures that you have seen too, like they're they are just they're doing this. I'm just gonna be dancing like the Larry David look behind my shoulder there. and be like, "Yo, Bunny Man, are you seeing this? I think <laughs> they got some brain connection going on." <sighs> I look up. Is it? Am I okay to like have conversation while attempting to take a short rest? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can talk as much as you want. Up. Okay, let's look up. Any strenuous activity, Sarah. probably not. <laughs> Sarah. Oh yeah, fucking Sarah. What the? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, out loud, you hear who's Sarah? The voice. Did you have a voice too? I heard a voice. She said, "Hey, voice? you want to save the world?" You do. You have uh-huh. this uh-huh. sparks a little memory of mm. when you first awoke which is Mm -hmm. an odd thought of Mm. some sort of figure as your eyes came to focus that did say he's ready to save the world and then you heard a female voice say let's get him out there and that voice you recognize it pings in your head as whatever you feel as this this concoction Mm of mom um, I don't know. Someone asked me if I wanted to save the world. Mm. Or if they said I was ready. I don't know. Did you hear him or did you see him? Yes. Oh, well, aren't you special? Yes. Sight um. and hearing is a new sensation that I am beginning to come aware to. I stop kneeling and I just kind of stand um, in my head talking to uh, Jax. Um, yeah, talking to Jax, uh, I say I say to him, um, I will protect you. Please, let's stay together. And then I'll start Ooh. to walk towards the door. Uh-huh. And um, bye. It's yeah. It's at this moment as you stand up and you turn, Jax. What does Jax do? Jax kind of uh, like gets. You see him get excited in the face and kind of in thought and out loud at the same time. He's like, "Do you want to be my friend?" And then he kind of awkwardly <laughs> takes a step 
and, and like falls on his face because he just doesn't understand how walking works. And he just goes, what's that? And just straight to the ground, you know? And immediately I turn right back. <laughs> Help him up. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, he's just like, oh, ow, ow. Uh, I essentially just help him up and say uh, uh-huh. one. I say out loud this uh, one foot in front of the other. Oh, yeah, it yeah is, that makes sense. It is at this okay. point. And he tries it. Again. Oh, go go for it. Go for it. You're he's you're walking. You're fight. learning to walk. Yeah, and you're watching. Oh. He's doing. I'm gonna watch him like the a penguin like walk. A you know, like. <laughs> 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 I was gonna call this like a peg <laughs> I was gonna call this a bromance, but I think it's literally just a romance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a row. Wow, wow, a robo man. Wow, romance. no, ro- 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 bro, bro, romance. Romance is just ro- 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 <laughs> Great. Oh man. Um. All right. I guess as he he does that, I'll I'll just go towards the door and um so um, as you're watching him open, as you're oh. watching him penguin walk <laughs> as he's learning to do his joints i think jacks may even like bend out like <laughs> bend his oh, knees yeah. and just like oh his knees a bit. <laughs> yeah flexing on he's it it's like <gasps> he's it's literally like, realizing oh, look what i can do uh-huh. <laughs> off in just the background practicing full range of motion yeah in the background he's, as whatever's happening he's so wholesome he's I love so, that wholesome. Door. <laughs> so wholesome <laughs> the door <laughs> opens as three locks on it click 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 spinning open and the door handle <laughs> pushes back as the door opens and stepping in is a th- like four foot with curly silver hair um, the equivalent of like a halfling a hobbit more or less but with two sets of arms and hands so he's doing this twice Basically, he has like a little set of arms and hands and a larger set of arms and hands on top of them. Everyone would know this is just a a Holdith Aphael. Um, This is like a, again, another normal race on Karth. Um, Standing upright with a shirt that is like kind of like a like a sleeping shirt, an older one that is stained in places. Looks like it honestly hasn't been changed and he's a little more worse for wear. A um, little crusty, but as his curly silver hair falls over his uh, little pointed ears, his eyes, you notice, are pupilless and just stark white. And he walks in to the room, closes the door behind him, and bows to you all, each individually, and says... Jack bows back. Oh, Jack bows back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Era? Uh, um, <laughs> as heaven, are you this Sarah? <laughs> um, you hear this? He head up. Hello, fellow adventurers. I have gathered you here for a purpose: to save this broken world. Each of you have been selected for who you are. You are special. You are gifted. You may not see it, but someday you will. In this our broken world, shattered and abandoned by the one who created it, we are the ones who are going to put it back together. Left now are creatures unchecked by a god king who is more tyrant than ruler, refusing to help from his seat of rapture. So, let us begin. Pulling from uh, this, he's just starting to speak, and he's saying all of this. Y'all could do nothing? Y'all could do something? Uh, I'm gonna say, you slow down here, Sarah, for a second. <laughs> Talk about kings and raptures, or you tell me there's like a, someone out there killing a bunch of people? Um, he doesn't seem to hear you. He seems to just keep talking as you tried to interject for a moment. Almost as if like, He's set on a path, if that makes Mm. sense. So he pulls 
opens his a little pouch, and from his little set of hands, he pulls out a uh, hexagon shape that kind of looks like a pot lid, but it's made out of like uh, really finely furnished silver, and it's got a handle on it. He holds it up and uh, cr- uh, passes it from his one set of hands to his second head of hands and holds it out to you. Hidden on this train is an artifact that we need to break the tyrant's curse. Take this seeker, hold it in your hands, and it will guide you along the way. All you have to do is hold it and listen. He walks um, to the the crates in the middle of the room, sets it down, then turns and starts just walking slowly to the back curtain, that wool curtain back there. He pulls it aside, revealing a cot, like a really tiny just cot shoved in the back of this storeroom and a desk of drawers and a little sink. And he pulls off this little vial, dips a brush into it, and keeps talking as he dips the brush in. Gather what you need to fulfill your destinies. If you are hurting already, make sure to eat from the crates and the pipers to restore yourself. We need you at tip top shape. And then he dips the brush in, pulls it, pours it under the thing and just starts brushing, <laughs> starts brushing his teeth. That's what you want. No ruler tells you to kneel to no tyrant who has just <laughs> puts it down to no tyrant who hides the stars beneath his fist seek truth to protect those who need beneath the stars there is only us as he gargles one last time turns the sink off he sits on his bed uh, hands out and above all else remember to have fun he stares at each of you his blaring white eyes pupilless. Now remember, please close the door behind you so that Hothram can be hidden like the good believer he is. Did you get my message? Um. What's a train? How do I know that this king's actually a bad guy? Do I need to repeat this message? Oh, are you like him? Thank you. Hello, fellow adventurers. I have gathered you oh, here for oh. a purpose. And he just starts message, going. Message he's just, received. He just, he's going uh, through the whole thing. He's sitting there he, and he's just going through it. Yeah. While he's doing it, I'm going to reach for the nearest barrel and mm-hmm. just pluck my hand in and see if <laughs> I can start, scavenge some just, kind of yeah, food here. Just start eating a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, as you do that, you do feel... Uh, uh, while in this room, you feel your health sl- and your vitality slowly returning to yourself. I was going to check their pockets. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, as so, as he finishes again, um, actually, he's still he's still seek truth to protect those you need, <laughs> and you just like fly over and you just start making his pockets, make a slight of hand check. He d- does it. not. He does not go to stop you. Mm-hmm. Is this going to have any actual uh, effect on my HP? Just yes. asking yes. as a player question. Uh, yes. A 10 total. 10? Um, yeah. Um, so his pockets overall seem to be empty, but he is wearing mm. around his neck a golden necklace with a mm. sigil on like a coin almost. It's not a coin, not really, but it's just like this golden sigil at the at the bottom as you're like uh, checking over him. And it's got, the crest is like two wings on a top down crown of thorns. So like a circle of thorns with two wings coming out of it, a crest on his necklace. I'm gonna like pull out my sketchbook mm-hmm. and I'm gonna like draw him and like draw the details. Sweet. Of the so he finishes necklace. again. Above all else, remember to have fun. Please close the door behind you so that Hothram can be hidden like the good believer he is. Do I need to repeat this message? No. Um, only because I want to experiment, yeah. <laughs> Hello, fellow <laughs> adventurers. I have gathered oh, you here. Yeah. For I'm going to take the necklace off. Does it make him stop? Um, 
as you go to pull onto the necklace, um, make a wisdom saving throw. Ten. Ten? Ooh. I got ten again. A ten. I rolled a nine. Fuck all of my dice. <laughs> I would like to say, while all this is happening, yeah. Jax has gotten uncomfortably close to Vaughn. Van. Okay. okay. Vaughn Van. <laughs> Van. Van. Okay. Van, as he's <laughs> eating, and he's just kind of like toddler looking at someone eating, <laughs> uninterested in it, and he's just kind of just watching him. Oh my God. <laughs> this, yeah. He reaches out, tries it, he's just like, it just scarfs the whole thing. Yeah, you taste yeah. that. It's like, <laughs> Oh. Mm-hmm. Just more? <laughs> um, I'm, gonna hand, I'm handing him one and then taking one for myself. Uh, welcome to Dungeons and <laughs> Dragons. Y'all have a child now. <laughs> Apparently. Um, Hepid. Um, so as you reach for the necklace, um, the, your vision flashes white and you pull back and you don't need to take the necklace. No, oh, that's what I want to know. <laughs> I think this necklace is keeping him alive. And um, as he finishes again, he'll go through it. Um, uh, and above all else, remember to have fun. Please close the door behind you so that Hothram can be hidden like the good believer he is. Do I need to repeat this message again? No, from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> his eyes, um, he lays down into his bed, pulls the covers over him, and his eyes fade from the white as uh, these like stark red pupils come into view. And his eyes come back, and he just falls asleep. Um, he had an artifact, right? Yeah, he placed this like for it's like a pot lid almost, like it's like this, yeah. right? Uh, but it's a eight diagonal shape, right? A hexagon. Is that right? Is that a hexagon? And with the handle on octagon. it. Octagon. An octagon. octagon. Yeah. yeah, that's not hex is five. Six, five, six. six. Okay, six. I don't, I don't need to know these things. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I wasn't even <laughs> close. Pentagon is you drive, five, you, know? you should know that a stop sign is an octagon. I know it says and stop and it's red. The octagon I don't shape. think you need to know it's an octagon to abide by the law. I think right? you need to know it's a stop sign. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> anyway, so you, uh, there is a art, this artifact in the middle of the room. Yes. Um, I guess I'll... I'll go and grab it. Cool. You pick it up. Yeah. Um, um, how healthy am I feeling, Sam? You are uh, you're full health. Okay. Do I feel any extra healthy? Um, you. <laughs> Do I feel exquisitely healthy? <laughs> your stomach. You hear this whirring sound. Um, mm. uh, Van, as this mm. boy in front of you, who looks kind of like a human. But his skin is really not a human, shiny, right? and you've never seen a boy like this ever. You've seen human boys, and this is kind of like one, but like real off. The features are real smooth. There's no sharp elbows. It's just like Mega Man or Astro Boy esque. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and as he's eating all of this, he's just chomping down. And these sensations, there's never been anything like them because you have dipped oh. into the sugar and spice and cinnamon oh. section that he pulled from. He just <laughs> junked a, like a big hand, and it's yeah. like crusty pie crust, basically, just infused with all of that. And you just start downing it, and you hear this rumble. That sounds like a whirring, like a zzz, zzz, like deep within, because you have very heightened senses inside of this little boy's tummy as it just mm -hmm. like, and inside of you, you feel it just, ooh, and it just digests and little sparkles mm. raise from uh, his skin as energy just floats off of him. You are no human. What's a human? <laughs> oh. Can I make a check to determine yeah, what yeah. a human is? Uh, make a uh -huh. history check. <laughs> yeah, that's like a history 16. check. 16? 
Um, mm -hmm. He says, you're no human, and as you stand there, zzz, 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 your mind's eye ro sees there are two worlds, two worlds, two worlds out. There's there's the abandoned world and the wasted world, world, the world of Earth, the world of Karth, and this, like, as your mind just, like, trickles down on humans, the wasted world, the world of um, of no magic, the world that we keep their, like, spirit world a bit, like, just, like, these, like, base levels of what a human is. Human is this other species that lives across the rifts that do not inhabit Karth and are not allowed to come to Karth. They couldn't do much if they did, is the prevailing theory. They live in a world without magic across the veil in the first place. Mm. So yeah. Jax goes to, like, human! Uh, citizens of the Wasted World, otherwise known as Earth, uh, deemed unmagical and uh, undervalued. Jesus. I don't think I'm that. Also, anything... No, I don't think either. Anything Skylar would know about Earth, you have kind, you can pull from this knowledge as from the, as this check goes if you want to add any of your own flavor. Jax would know this too. But, yeah, mm. there you go. Okay. Well... Do you have a name? I do. Mm -hmm. A name. J. Uh, a. Yeah. X. Classification Jax. Yeah. Jax for short. You don't have to call me Classification Jax. Right. Uh -huh. Also a dope band name. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Classification <laughs> jacks. I would go see that. That's a good one. <laughs> um, I have a name. All right. Well then, Jax, I'm gonna stand up and head towards the artifact to go yeah. pick it up. Yeah, Dareem, you're already there and you have picked it up. Uh yeah, I already have it. Um, you lift it. And yeah. from what you remember, he told you, you know, four, four, four times over. So I think <laughs> that you can remember, um, take this seeker, hold it in your hands and it will guide you along the way. All you have to do is hold it and listen. Also, um, while you're so doing that, Hep, you are still, uh, floating over the, um, sleep now sleeping body of this person. There is, uh, just around you, there is... Him on his little cot, little uh, rickety like blanket over him. There is a chest of drawers next to him. Also, um, you don't have to stay over there or anything, but just so like I was curious for you to think about what you were doing too. Oh, I'm going through everything. That's I'm going to work on snacks. Yeah. I'm putting them in my pockets for yeah. later. I'm like grabbing all the cool, like I'm looking through everything. I'm okay. like, I'm like going through their shit. You're, 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 you're casing the joint basically, right? You're going through it all. Yeah, okay. I'm looking through all the drawers. Mm. I'm getting all the good stuff. Sweet, sweet. Dareem, you, you hold it and you focus on it, right? Yeah, I guess um, I'm, I lift it up to like, where my ears are and uh i try to have, listen do you have ears um yeah it's they're holes. not like little like square holes yeah they're, they're like yeah yeah okay um, um do, there is a handle are you holding the handle as you do this um no i'm just holding it from the bottom um uh, uh he told you specifically all you have to do oh, is okay. is Hold in your hands, and it will guide you. All you have to do is hold it and listen. Oh, so you're doing this to hold it and listen? Um, yeah. After about 12 seconds, as you're holding it here, um, you feel this compulsion that if you want to know it, that it's trying to give you a direction, but you have to grab mm -hmm. the handle and do it again. <laughs> okay, well. I'll do that then. So you do that. <laughs> um, another 12 seconds go by, and this is at this point, uh, Van, you have turned and you're walking over to him, and you see him like mm -hmm. doing this, and then he grabs it. And as you think, six seconds go by, 12 seconds go by, and standing there, your desired item, what you are seeking on this train, he told you know, uh, this. Um, the sleeping man now in the corner with four arms and four hands told you you are here to find an artifact to help break the great tyrant's curse, right? Mm. And this thing will lead you to it more or less. And it seems to give you a direction where if you're standing towards the wall of the door, 
Which way are you looking in the room? Looking north? Um, I guess yeah, I'm looking I'm looking towards the door cuz it's it's the only way out, right? So, as it's looking towards the door, the handle, you can feel it shifting to your right. So, if that's the south door, it is pointing that way, which is essentially um let's call this uh Caesar 2 in a room. It's pointing a, a little above southwest like if this is south west it's pointing this way um i guess i'll look at Jax and say it's telling me to go that way and i point at the direction over in the corner zipping around pocketing snacks <laughs> stealing stuff um uh, under the bed, there's oh, well, make an investigation check. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Nat, twenty. Let's freaking go. You can't see it because it's not focusing. Um. Oh, it looks cool. <laughs> I felt it. I, 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 I did feel I felt it. it because I just like that was my first time even seeing. It's it. It's a Nat for... twenty, but I have a what an investigate. I have a plus one in investigation. Hey, so for a twenty-one. Okay, under the bed. There is, um, so you fly under there and you kind of hover, like there's like enough for you to like get your head under. And as you're looking around, normally uh, there is nothing under that bed, but you being a very keen, just, you know, everybody's got a little something, something they're hiding, right? They just got a little something, something. You start picking around in the springs of the mattress a little and you find a key and you just pull it off and you've got a key that he somebody was definitely trying to hide um Ooh. as you uh, there seems to be nothing else underneath the bed as you come out and you look back over your little area now you like hover up into the air and you've already checked through all the chest of drawers basically um there's four of them the three on the bottom held clothes some like writing scribe material um like tax notes of a business that was called Piper's Paradise but at the very top of one there is one tiny compartment with the keyhole ooh I put it in the keyhole yeah you do and it goes in it clicks and it pops open just like almost spring loaded it pops out and inside um you find a little leaflet of hidden uh papers there is a picture Ooh. of a family that's like like a, a grouping of like like little kodak pictures more or less shot um like in a town of a farm backdrop um like rolling hills behind as the as this person who you see um you see the person who was speaking to you from before with the silver hair and the, the and the eyes, him and his family, basically, as you're like connecting it, how he grew up. Now he had a family on that homestead. And then on top of that, there seems to be a letter with the same crest on it from with uh, that is his necklace. Hmm. What does the letter say? Is it the letter says open? as you pull it, yeah, and you open it. Um, it says, Hothram, I've had a vision, and this is like really neatly scrawled. Hothram, I've had a vision. You will be needed in the aftermath. Horrible things are coming. Keep your head up, and you'll finally be called. Keep the faith. Always believed, never abandoned. Signed, Rains. R A I N S. And you put together this person. His name is apparently Hawthorne. H A W T H R U M. Does it have like a date or anything? Um, there is no date on it. Does it like? Can I? Does it look old? Like it really does. Old? It does look old, and it looks worn. It looks a little better f for wear from like some of the other papers that you were looking at. Just like guy, just kind of picking through stuff in the bottom drawers. Look like they've been taken out and actually used a bunch, right? So there's more wear and tear in them, almost like oxidation. Mm -hmm. It's not the word from the air itself and stuff. This one, while it does look like the the parchment 
um, isn't like brand new. Um, you kind of get the sense that it's been stuck. It's it's one of those that's like it's been in the drawer for a while, right? Like it doesn't come out of the drawer. Mm. Yeah. Um. Do I have any knowledge of like now that I know these things? Do I would I have any knowledge of if this person is like oh locked like out of their will like if they're like they're like stuck in this state for some like by somebody else you know like for a re- like is this like a go ahead or is this like a they've died like when i hear like aftermath and stuff like that is that like an at like a do i connect that as like okay this person's like passed on and they're just using their body like their physical form after the eyes have faded as you look over especially where well, i'm still just kind of going with the, your nat 20 on your your 21 on your investigation just kind of covers all of this as you look over mm-hmm. thinking about it um, his eyes faded, returned to normal, and he is asleep and breathing. He does not seem mm-hmm. to be dead. He's passed out, but mm-hmm. he does not seem to be dead, no. Oh, I'm gonna go over and try and grab the necklace again. Can <laughs> okay. I, like, ooh, can I take my rapier? Uh-huh. And can I just, like, hover near it and just, like, put it under it and just, like, break it off? Yeah, yeah, you can definitely try. So as you do it, the rapey and you're like city one so this this was running congruent i think up until this moment right like y'all were doing your things eating stuff looking at the thing and then in the corner if you notice it's a really small room it's hard to hide in here you see her slide. if you if you notice you see uh you see hep like you can hear like a shing <laughs> slides out the rapier and just starts sticking it towards hawthorne if you don't notice you don't notice but you start sliding your are we turned looking in the direction of- technically you are looking the opposite way now mm. uh because you're looking towards that corner and uh hep is in this corner right so mm. you're not but if okay. van is looking at <laughs> if van is looking at dream you're definitely looking in the direction <laughs> off in the distance <laughs> as a fairy but yeah. whether you do anything's up to you but yeah you definitely see this <laughs> Uh, I'm going to walk up like to Dream that distance. Yeah. yeah. I will see what's going on. <laughs> and then I will look back towards the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you find, <clears throat> did you find anything, Metal Man? Uh, real quick, it's... I'm going to resolve before we get in. I'm just going to resolve this yeah. as you, your, your, your rapier. <laughs> And you're in, it slides under the thing, and you're like, oh, oh I'm so awesome. smart. And that intent of what you desire, white starts to encapsulate your vision <laughs> and make a wisdom saving throw. Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn it. Uh, hey, can one of you come take this guy's necklace off? I think he's like trapped in his consciousness, and like, I feel bad because he's a family. Make a wisdom saving throw. You did it the thing. Oh, motherfuck, I got a two. <laughs> motherfuck, I <laughs> one away from getting a three roll. The two, mm. an actual one for all half of us. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> um, so what happens <laughs> is there's a flash of white. And you turn around and you are just looking at your friends and you have forgotten what you were just trying to do. Do I still have the papers in my hand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember everything up okay. until I'm going to take that necklace. Like, like it, it, okay. it, that part is just a little gone. And you've looking at your friends and you're like, huh. <laughs> well, you, you still have all stuff. You remember reading the papers yeah. and the pictures and all that stuff too. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, um, <laughs> Do any of you want to try to take this necklace off? I f- think this guy's like trapped. I think he's like on a, I don't know, some mumbo jumbo happened and he's like on set on a thing, but he's got trapped? like a family and stuff. Jack walks over and he's just like, oh, he's in danger? He's in trouble. As, um, as I hear uh, Jack's being intrigued, I like look over. <laughs> <laughs> I look over at what they're talking about and um can I uh can I detect magic? I just cast detect magic. Oh, definitely. Just, you know, just you're just gonna you're just gonna you're straight cast it? 
still yeah yeah um can i detect it i guess like at the necklace or is it is that one of those just in general oh yeah it's around. in a 30 foot sphere around you i'm pretty sure uh maybe mm. 60 um there is um a, on detect magic 30 there's a 30 foot sphere around from you as the starting point and you then detect all magical things within the the area basically okay well then can i do that hey, you want to pop that <laughs> spell slot that? <laughs> yeah uh so like i kind of like give like one of those like quick like t- like look over <laughs> like right as i hear his interest <laughs> and <laughs> just detect magic <laughs> You sense a lot of magic around you, first off. First off, you're getting a ping of like, oh, crap. Bing, 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 of a couple little, <laughs> a couple magical things in your Can my eyes vicinity. light up every time oh, yeah, there's like a yeah. new magic? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. bing, 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 bing. Then, you know, as you said that, I'm just like, that's exactly Ooh. that's exactly what happens. Um, Walking magic detector. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, there is no sound, but my you, eyes just yeah, light just up. like. <laughs> in fact, they cool. light up. Um, I'm gonna triple down on this. As you um, you with with a uh, van in front of you, um, the first thing you sense magic is the silver shawl that is wrapped around him. That is magical. Hmm. I just kind of give like a, oh. yeah. And <laughs> as you look at it, um, it seems to give off no glow, but you know it's magical, which hmm. is a sussy thing. But there's reasons. <laughs> I, but as you turn hmm. around, um, the thing in your hand. You know, I don't. I don't make like a big deal. I just kind of like squint and like like. The hmm. thing in your hand is <laughs> definitely magic. Yeah, I could assume so. <laughs> and it gives off a bluish it, it gives off a bluish glow mm-hmm. for um, okay. some sort of like divination. blue energy yeah, divination comes off of it and um, then as you look across the I don't think Pep, do you have any magic on you? any magic items that you can think of? Mm. oh I have that rapier oh you have the wizard hat on too don't you? You've got a wizard hat. Yeah, I don't You've know what it does. Hat? I have the yeah, so I do just, have a wizard oh, hat, yeah, and I have absolutely yeah, no clue what yeah, it does. Yeah, they just like <laughs> straight up have like this wizard hat on. Uh, yeah, your, oh, I you have, about you, that. You have a rate. Your rapier is magic. Is that right? Is that what yeah, you just said? it's a oh, it's a shadow short sword. Sorry, of shielding. So you the shadow short sword. Oh, and she, she, her uh, <laughs> hat. hat is magic. Short, short. The, the sword is magic. Uh, the one that they're using to like straight up like try to lift, and or they were trying to lift, and the mm. the um, necklace has this blinding white glow around it. There's also something magical around Jax's neck. It seems, but you can't really. It's through the shirt. Essentially, it's not on top of it. I can still see that, though. Yeah, you get a ping of it. Do I see what color that is? Also, no color. Another squint. Yeah, cool. yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Weird stuff. Two things you've never really... I don't think you've ever really seen that before, honestly. Yeah. Are you all right, Magic Man? I don't think we should touch that necklace. I say that out loud, but I definitely specifically say that to um, to Jax, like in our heads. And I say, um, it's telling me to go in this direction. Do you think this wall is breakable? <laughs> Let's find out. I'm going to try and break the wall. <laughs> There's an open door! <laughs> So, 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 wait, I, hold on. I slight, re- slight retcon, because I was confused then. Is so, there a way, is it pointing towards the door where we can just leave out the door, so, or is there a wall in the way? So, the way that it's pointing is towards the the wall that is to the west, right? Mm-hmm. There is an open door to the south, though. Um, it is pointing t- more towards the west wall, and that's all I'll give you if you want to break that wall. Uh, who am oh, I to yeah. stop you from making bold choices? I'm not that person. There is uh, a giant open door to the left, though. I will. I'll just say that. I'm just gonna throw that out there. 
And as I say that, and you're thinking about, am I gonna break this fucking wall? <laughs> you hear another <laughs> off in the distance as that glass sound that you first heard when you were sitting, when you first got here, um, starts happening uh, again as another whirring seems to be clicking on. Is that is that sound coming from the direction of the door? Yes. And does okay. his ear perk up? Yes, it does. It, it does. does. Yeah. Yes. It absolutely does. Yeah. He just he like gives like a. Uh, I guess we're gonna break this fucking wall and then. Yes. <laughs> 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 over to the side. Sorry. Okay. Did you did you all hear that? Um, I don't think they did. Mm. Here? No. What? Tep's like in like the barrels of food, <laughs> like getting like the best munchies. Like I've like gone down and found like yeah. the best ones. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. you tried them all. They're delicious. Oh, yeah, they God. feel yeah. a little extra too, like a little pep in your step. Hep got pep mm-hmm. in the step, you know, just getting it going. Mm-hmm. And you, you yeah, <laughs> Hep just pokes pokes the head out and just like, <laughs> here what? <laughs> we go we go back over to Dream. <clears throat> you said Dream, right? Yes. That's your name. If you want to leave this place, come with me. Looking over to Jackson Van, or sorry, Jax and Hep. Mm-hmm. Um, say the same. Will you be joining? Uh, yeah. One second, and I'm gonna like stuff my pockets full. Sick. And I'm gonna go <laughs> put the papers yeah. back in the drawer and lock it. Okay. And like. Put the key away. And oh, then like I'm, back in its place? Yeah. Oh, um, oh, that's nice. Like, I'll make sure that I'll, like, jot down, like, maybe do, like, a quick sketch of, like, like their sure. name. Like, jot yeah. down their name or whatever. Yeah. Little notes. And then I'm going to rip out a piece of paper, and I'm going to, like, big, bold letters write, please take my necklace off. And then, like, <laughs> like okay. fold it on, like, his jacket or something like uh-huh. that. So like it's noticeable, so, okay. so people can can see it. Okay. Or like if there's tape or like a glue yeah. substance, you, I don't know what exists in here. You put it. You 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 fashion it mm-hmm. in like a, a top fold, perfectly at like like tucked into like the the edge of the bed, right? Or or like it, mm-hmm. into one of the drawers with a giant arrow <laughs> pointing at him. Yeah. Like something very yeah. secure to where. Whoever comes mm-hmm. back, yeah, if anyone else comes in, then they'll they'll see for sure. Cool. Uh, yeah. Jax is just like, um, will you be my friend if I go with you? Yes. <gasps> really? Cool. Okay, I'm in. Let's go. Where are we going? What is going? <laughs> All great questions. <laughs> All right, middle man. <laughs> Pat him on the back, lead the way. And a big, meaty paw just whoops <laughs> on your back, Doreen, <laughs> as this huge bunny man slaps you. So I'd definitely give like a, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably like the size of your whole back. Like, yeah, just like, just a, like a yeah. little, just like. <laughs> If yeah. anything, ever had, ever had um, your whole back just palmed? <laughs> oddly enough, yes. Um, yeah, you know. That is it. Anyway, yeah. Is it, okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, that's let's our inside this. joke. He that's, knows. He knows what I'm going to do. All right, 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 right. I would say we should describe more about what uh, it feels like to be touched by this giant bunny man. If you could, like, really dig into the emotional. Everfessence you feel for me. Yeah, was there actually? I have a great question. Was there a hollowed sound when I slapped his back? No. Like, what? What was no. the sound? It was actually like slapping. Uh, like if you've ever like go to Home Depot and there's just slabs of metal on top of each other. It is mm-hmm. thick and it is like, <laughs> like it's a dull thud. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. Does Hep hear that? Can I, does it like, is it a note, uh, like like audible one? You hear and see him thud this dude for sure. Oh God. Hep's going to go over to his head and do the same thing I did to the other one and like knock, (laughs) knock him on the, Uh, knock him. Are you knocking, you're knocking Dareem on the head? Um, Jax. Oh, you're knocking. No, because I already know. Uh, Knocking. (laughs) No, one's a robot. I don't know that other one's a robot. You, You float over and you 
and it gives a <laughs> sound. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, that's I don't know. like a head sound. I know, like, yeah. how hard you yeah. yourself for that sound. Does it feel like? Cool. Does it feel like plastic <laughs> that I'm hitting? It feels. Like, it doesn't feel like skin that you're hitting, but it does sound. Like hitting, like knocking on someone's skull a little bit. You don't do it hard, but like huh. enough to yeah. like make the sound. Uh, yeah, it's not as thick um, as Dareem's sem- seem to have been. Um, I will turn to Van, um, and say, please do not do that again. It brings back a bad memory. And I walk out the door. <laughs> the party walks out the door. <laughs> As you walk out of the room, everybody make a perception check. What y'all all see? Mm, giving you another shot, little mini dice. 22. 21. 18, baby. 21, 22. Dareem? 18. 18? Mm-hmm. Uh, 11. So, um, Jax, as you... Jax, as you walk out the door, you are overwhelmed by the first brightly lit room you've ever seen in your entire <laughs> existence um, everybody sees as you're walking through this this door um, you see like you're walking in to a um, like a food store restaurant but you are entering in from the very very back so off to your right you see vats of bubbling meat sweets and spice that line the back wall of the room where you are standing now, each one connected to this, to a spigot hanging over a trolley system that lines the back wall of the room. Three machines were along, um, along the back wall. Um, in front of you, you see a counter, but you are on the, you are on the uh, reception side of it. You are on the worker side of the counter. And then beyond that, you see an eatery area, very like 1950s-esque diner kind of setup uh, with all of the tables and chairs um, derelict and set off to the side as if some sort of scuffle happened. The bright um, windows that are the far, far wall and the entrance door into this into this place are, two of the windows are crashed open, glass scattered all over the wall, and above you a flickering light that says in neon yellow, Piper's Paradise um, with a menu underneath it. As you're standing there, all my 20s, uh, my 18s and my 20s, you all notice um, the machines are working to your side and they seem to be on a trolley system basically how it works is from the vat in the back right that you saw from the room that we were in yeah from there up on the ceiling the conveyor belt these little arms with meats and spices as they were picking through boxes and stuff they are dropping them into the very first machine on this trolley system out here and as it drops in there um uh, their drops are they're dropping it into the second machine down um, the first machine at the beginning of the track bubbles within a white hot as glass tubes form in a spiral beneath this spigot and form into existence on this trolley system and it's making the very first thing it makes are glass files about the size of this microphone right as they form and they set um They fall into grooves on the conveyor belt, moving down the line. That machine that is working and making all of this, uh, like glass tubes, is set with a green orb on the top. The second machine down is a set of spigots in a line that is being fed spices and different things from the room from behind you as hands are picking up from the vat. Um, The machine um, is as little glass tubes going a line it's filling them with one with like some sort of sludge of meats a dark brown sludge another like a more liquidy substance um as they disappear as they're filled they enter into a third machine as steam it stops for a moment the doors close steam out to the side and then as the other door opens um finished are these glass vials filled and steaming like a pie top, then they smell absolutely incredible. 
and um, you can see the conveyor belt extends throughout the whole restaurant, almost like a, you know, those sushi conveyor belt restaurants, right? Like they Mm -hmm. come from these machines, they go out to the counter and then they're supposed to go through the dining area in a, in a, like a, a wiggle motion, right? Like throughout the whole diner area. And they are just continuously crashing one after another at the end as they fall off. Um, and no one is there to pick to stop them or pick them up as they Can I go fly down there and grab one before it falls? Oh yeah, as you're flying over, you take off, you fly over and you see just all of these delicious smelling pipers um, there for you. Can I smell? Yeah! (laughs) You can! (laughs) You've got senses, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, or did you say they're pipers? Or th- is that that drink that I have, or is that the different thing? That I, what the what's the? These no, are that's just like like tuby. No, that's literally what they are. Yeah. Yeah. That it's is the, the stuff drink that I'm addicted to. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna like replace all of like like half of the candy that I took from the other place. Yeah. And like shove a handful. You're of just those. gonna start yeah. taking pipers and putting them like in your pockets. It's like because yeah. you recognize these things that a yeah. delicatessen that someone else was making on where you grew up were these very, yeah. very similar things. This, uh-huh. um, it's kind of like McDonald's and Burger King can both make a cheeseburger, right? Like these yeah. are a different type of made of these, but it's still like uh, you recognize them immediately as like, oh my God, that one's a dessert. That one is a meal. Yeah. <laughs> that one is uh, like oh. more of a slushy, like just all different these, types. I like empty out all of the stuff out of my pocket. I like remember like the best one that I tried and I'll yeah. keep that one. Yeah. But then like the rest of them, like I like take out the cinnamon one and then I take out the sour one and then I take out roll, that one and then I leave like roll the me strawberry a, one. Roll me a D8. Ooh, a five. A five. You Ooh. manage to grab and stuff five of these <clears throat> plus the one that you had into your pockets and they look ridiculous you also find at the end of the line like you find like toppers right to put over to preserve them yeah. right so you like yeah. you're like oh boop, oh boop 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 and you take five pipers write that down make sure that you have written down that you got five of these pipers oh. uh can i also like grab um just like I'll have one in my hand for now, mm-hmm. and then can I like load up in my hand enough for my friends? <laughs> yeah. Just like just yeah. to be able to fly over and give. Them. Yeah, if you grabbed about five more. Yeah, 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 and you just <laughs> got them in your hands. And she yeah. and uh, Hep, they just like fly over and just like, ooh, like <laughs> as the like, conveyor belt's still working. Yeah, guys, these are literally the greatest thing you will ever try. I don't care if you have mouths or if you can taste anything, but you have to. Th- shove it in whatever orifice you have in the front of your face. Uh, and I give right. them for this to yeah. that one, and I give yeah, that one yeah. to that one, and I yeah. like, I'm like thinking about like pairing it with their personalities. Like, oh, I'm like, okay. what are you yeah. gonna like yeah. the yeah. most? Yeah. <laughs> like, um, you give um, the big bunny man this, like something that you recognize as just like, like really like dark chocolate cake. Right, like, oh, yeah. like, like brown, like, like a <laughs> sludgy brownie top that is just steaming off of the top, and it's like super rich, right? And like, you hand that over to big old bunny man. Uh, to how many, how many, how many hands do I need in order to hold this? Oh, bro, you're doing this. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's still, it's still okay. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, just like you're, a you're, shot. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're like, like it's like it's not like this. Like you're like, oh, okay, like mm-hmm. this is it's not that I mean, small. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, is, I'll smell it. So, but it's like it's a pastry. Yeah, like, but it, it's in a, it's in a just tube. A pastry, it's just, just like brownie. But it's in yeah, but it's like brownies in a tube. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like just and you like, like uh, can I t- show them how to do it? Right, it's the one that you like. Yeah, I've seen I've seen these before. I've seen these before. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Growing up, growing up, like. Like, oh, yeah, I got that. And you know, I guess that here's if you, my question is, what flavor did I get? And I was just like, mm, uh, you don't know, but the smell seems to be this like really rich, dark, delicious, um, like just like earthy. You know, you like drink a stout, you know what I mean? Mm, like, earthy, yeah, mm-hmm. it's got that kick to it a little bit, like, like just black coffee, like just those like really dark chocolate, but like 
It's got like a little cinnamon like tinge to your nose. And you're like, oh, oh this is a, this is a. Uh. We have like a cooking with Sam day, and how do you create these? Like, Just show, like, us, want show us what it actually is, you know. <laughs> I can't make any of this, but I can make it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you you hand off to oh, to Dream, um, basically the equivalent of like a shepherd's pie. Um, like it's got like a uh, a golden crust up top, and like um, you can see inside floating around are um, a bunch of different like like minerals. If you've ever had like hot chicken with like really really crunchy salty crust on it, right? Like the real seasoning, it's got that like floating inside. Oh my god, my <laughs> mouth is watering as I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna say, hey man, you saying all this, and I'm already god, eating, so I'm, hungry. I'm, I'm for it. Um, and <laughs> you know? then you you hand off to. Um, you hand off to Jax the equivalent of like a lollipop. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's got Jax immediately just like sniffs. Yeah, a little bit sugar like, cake <gasps> and yeah. just chugs yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, just I, like I, I guess uh, I just I just look at it and no. Nope. Yeah, and uh, I mean I, I can taste right. Like I I, got, I don't I just don't need food, huh? Yeah, you can taste. You got you got taste. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't like mm. you are, uh, and then it just like passes through you, and like seeps out through your stomach flap, right where you make a thing. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of like compresses because it's not really so meant to go in there. I'm pooping it out of my clothes. <laughs> yeah, and it just starts sludging through from the front though, because <laughs> uh, you don't eat. I don't. When was the, have you ever tried right. to eat food? People don't even give you food to eat. I don't. Yeah, no. I think that's the first time I've actually ever like. Yeah, and it starts like seeping out. And you're like, you know, <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I yeah, was so. I was opening mine, and then I saw what happened with Doreen, <laughs> and then quickly just put it into okay <laughs> my my pants. And like, I'll Jax, save mine for later. you just like scarfed the the sugar. You feel this like. Oh vitalizing wave mm -hmm. of energy uh, like nothing mechanically but like you just mm -hmm. over your person Jax immediately starts looking for more of the candy flavor <laughs> yeah. oh, he I'm seems gonna, like, to like it Jax, I'm, I'm gonna like make him a deal and be like hey how many of these do you think you can hold because like I'll go down and get them if you hold them in your yeah. pockets <laughs> oh okay yeah what are pockets <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll like go look at his. Does he have? Do you have pants on? He has pants. Yeah. He's got like. He, he, he would have pants with pockets on. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna like point at the hole in your pants. Oh, he just like puts his hand in his pocket and he's just like, oh, oh, yeah. I get the function. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see how many fit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay. just gonna like see how quick this is. Just like a race to see. <gasps> How Do many race? of these I can get off of the conveyor belt into Jax in like three minutes? Well, <laughs> okay. While they're doing that, um, uh, so where where are we headed to, um, Doreen? Uh, um, you you also get another five I, pipers uh, in your pockets. Cool. Write them down. Yeah. Yeah. Pockets. Jax also like after the five get in his pocket, he just also starts like going over and just carrying an armful of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all just taking yeah. them, and they're being made. Yeah. I guess I'll, I listen to the, the artifact thing. The, yeah, uh, 12 seconds pass, and you've kind of gleamed that it takes <clears throat> the equivalent of two actions, right? Like, it takes 12 seconds, like, uh, around to six seconds, right? Like, as you focus, it takes you about yeah. 12 seconds, and as you're standing there, you can see beyond, there is an open way out in front of you, beyond the cracked, the broken windows and the open door, but off to the, it's still pointing roughly in the same direction. So you walked through that south door. And so now if you're standing and in front of you, across the shop is the exit, the thing is pointing you to your right. I think we should leave out this way and, and go from there. So I guess I'll start walking towards the exit then. <clears throat> Sweet. I follow. Uh, everybody should hear yeah. Dareem say that. Yeah. And you'll you notice that he's like carrying this thing and he's like uh, telling you where you should be going. Jax kind of oh. sees everyone starting to walk away and he's like, oh, oh, wait for me! 
<laughs> as he <laughs> runs out with an arm full of pipers. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet. I just have a mental Im image of like some of them falling and he's just <laughs> yes. oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had you had both of you had about eight in your hands and now you have like <clears throat> seven and six as things are like falling and this you leave this derelict shop. The pipers are still being made and they're just crashing off onto the floor. <laughs> Like every uh, every thirty seconds, as a new one, just it's piling up, um, and you walk out into the next area. Yeah. As you walk out, you see, like walking through Broadway in New York, all around you, towering above you, are five story buildings shimmering against the golden sky ahead as you look up a low set of clouds were past the buildings cutting into them it's unnerving but you unnerving but you get the sense that you are not stationary right now you are moving and though you are standing in the equivalent of a gigantic outdoor mall um storefront area in front of you are tables and chairs that are just like like being out in some outdoor mall just strewn about a hundred feet in front of you um 200 feet in front of you it's this like really wide common eating area uh all around you are at this bottom level this like you look behind you and piper's paradise stands behind you with its sign um about 30 shops down it crests down uh, it it the the wall stops and then cuts uh to the right and then another like 30 shops and then it makes like this basic like this uh u-shape um over now to your left and if you were to look above the shop area there are um, terraces and there are just apartment buildings built up story upon story upon story uh, cascading up into the sky and like you that that feeling of that vibration that you first felt when you're like standing on the ground for my ground standers specifically <coughs> van is starting to make a little bit of sense as like that low constant vibration as you watch the clouds part against the buildings above you um, off to the left and in front of you you can see the sky moving slowly as you seem to be moving forward we're moving would I know? Would I know what this is based on my knowledge of cards? Make. Or nah? Who wants to make a history check? I mean, I'll do it. Mm, I will. Do I have good history? I don't know. Mm, I do. I could do one. Do it. Uh, Jax will. Yep. Uh, so let's all do it. Um, no, Skylar. No. Fourteen. Eighteen. Fourteen. Eleven. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Stop. Damn. <laughs> Everybody kind of recognizes as they look up, they're used to the sky. This is a golden sky. This is not, this seems to be Karth. Like, if you're anywhere, you seem to be on Karth. You are standing in this market square bottom, but this, there's this wild looking apartment set of buildings that last forever and ever and ever above you, right? Like they're cascading buildings. And uh, um, when you, I'm sorry, when you say Karth, which, which Karth do you mean, I guess? Karth is the, the planet, the world, the realm of Karth itself. Okay, but like specifically, like region-wise, we're not sure. You So what I'm saying is like, that's a golden sky, and it looks like a normal okay, Karthian okay. sky, right? Like it's not, it. for my people who have been on Earth, uh, Van, it doesn't feel like it's not blue, it's not, it doesn't look like Earth, right? Like, okay, mm -hmm. it seems to be, I guess we're on Karth. Um, immediately, a vision of how Karth works just clicks in Jax's head with a 24. With a 24, there are only so many structures on the world of Karth that move at such a speed and are such a size. You know, you are, you must be on one of the um, main city tracks that go around the entire planet like basically i think that you kind of get a memory file like logged mm. in your brain of of where you are 
um, looking up at the gigantic black structure of apartment buildings behind you, it immediately rings as there's one structure that, that uh, on this planet that rings true to you. And you know that you must be standing in the Six Splits district, uh, beneath the Six Splits district, back in the Grand Back Markets of Track Majestic. One of the six high trains that revolves around the world of Karth. You kind of just hear Jax, like he's reciting, uh, like he's like he's running a program and reciting information that's just being downloaded. He just goes, Track Majestic, one of the six city trains that runs around uh, the world of Karth, uh, Grand Back Markets, beneath the six, split, the six splits district. Yeah, he starts doing that. He starts saying, he's um, just like, base. he starts... He says, created in the year um, one pile eight stack six Ted by the ingenious works of Spark Trend Othok and Seek Rillendire uh, to model the incredible City Train Heavenlock, the uh, track Majestic. Like, like, he, like those, the really like finite bits of information. Like almost tour guide y. Yeah. But he's, been, <laughs> yeah, it's basically how it comes out. And you are standing, you can all take a look at that map too. You are standing, um, uh, just to get a picture in your head, you're at the back of this thing. And you are standing in that, in the, uh, like on the bottom level, like inside this like gigantic area. Jeez. Big old train Whoa. area. Everyone, honestly, living on this plant, uh, uh, on this in this realm of Karth, knows what Track Majestic is. Like you've heard of Track Majestic, Track Heavenlock, um, the the it, maybe the. Um, the prison high train from the from Umbertold, like there's a couple that like ring true to you if you cared to ever know this stuff. I don't think any of you have ever been on them. Um, yeah, this is, this is where you are. You are standing at the back of this rumbling, gigantic beast of a train. Um, in terms of what the artifact is, uh, like the direction that it's telling me to go oh so you is you focus it, again as you walk outside yeah uh yeah so after walking outside and taking in everything i think i just kind of hold it back up to my ear um so yeah um, you focus on it and now now that you are standing a little bit outside instead it's still it's basically pointing northward so behind you and above you mm. are all of these like buildings and the back of the train, and it is telling you to go forward. And you see off in the distance, um, a tunnel that is that seems to lead from this area of the train that you're in to the next mm. area. It is pointing that way, pointing forward. Okay, I, I just say that to them. I guess um, mm. forward. So we're going the right way. Uh, yes. Follow me. Um, mm, cool. It is at this point. <clears throat> How does gravity work on this? When I'm like floating above the air, do I stay stationary and then the, the train is moving above me so I can't fly? I have to be like walking? No, no you, you fly. No, you, um, what is that whole like, you, like if you jump on a train, you stay with the train, right? And then you land in the same spot on a train. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. a, you're being carried by the like collective momentum. By the gravity <laughs> of the train. You, uh, it, you the can, train has its own gravity. <laughs> have you wa tried to walk at all this whole time? No, I've been flying. Yeah, you. That's what I mean. It's like yeah, no, you're flying normally. Mm -hmm. Like you're just you're zipping about. Like you fly out. Hmm. You're still flying normally. Interesting. Cause Glad I'm not a physicist. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are. I think as soon as Hep realizes though that they're like thinks that I'm gonna start walk like I'm gonna like immediately be like. Oh, Oh my god! And like go like, <laughs> like uh, like stand on uh, on Dream's shoulder. <laughs> okay, on on Van's shoulder, Dream, Dream, uh, Dream, Dream, Dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, I heard Dream. Yeah, yeah. You you go stand. You kind of have to stand on. Well, you can two foot it, right? Like, like. Oh wait, who's the biggest? Uh, How tall are you? I six, thought you were Van is definitely the biggest. Yeah, Van yeah. is the six foot five gigantic <laughs> bunny beefy, man. Yeah, bunny. Boy. Okay, dope. I'll go bunny like. Man, sorry. You know what? I'll, I'll stand on. I'll sit on Jax's shoulder because <laughs> he won't do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> he's he kind of walking, and as he's walking, oh, oh, oh. and like the extra weight gets added to his shoulders, he starts wobbling a bit. He drops more pipers. <laughs> crash, crash! Oh, you're, oh, oh. Oh, you're, you're down oh. two five pipers in your hands, five in pocket. <laughs> yeah, um, but you you like like those videos of the Boston Dynamic robots when they get kicked and they like stumble back up. <laughs> like you're like oh 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 I'm learning, <laughs> and you're you're walking. Wow. <laughs> with with Hep yeah. on, let just standing and kind of head wings and back wings, just flitting enough to like kind of hover and, and move along with. Um, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Blah blah blah. There's this is a world of science and magic, and um, gravity definitely travels with the train from a centered. Like once you've entered into the. Blah blah blah. You can I, I, fly around. It if doesn't you want matter, to. Hep, because yeah. Hep knows true, that it's moving. True. Hep is our basic oh, concept. Is yeah. if you take a fly, put it in a jar, put it on a scale, you the weight of the fly is applied to the scale because it's pushing off the ground with its wings as it's flying. Science. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah. Um, as y'all start, I think making your way forward, um, you hear above you. And um, basically, so these shops are the bottom level, right? And then there are terraces leading into like looking into apartments, basically, just up the walls, up the walls. The up to the right, there is a crashed out window as these three little metal lizard with like eight legs just start crawling out and they're just their heads are and they are looking at each other and they just start pecking at each other and they're like and just like punch each other as one falls off the scaffolding and hits the ground and directly in front of you this world is just disgusting have i seen anything like this before no no no. Nah. Okay. This is so it's like this is like a metal dinosaur. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, it's got or like a sorry, pterodactyl me- head, right? But like it's on like this like metal body, and it's got eight legs that also like jut out at the end. So it's like, and as it like stumbles back up, it like waving up at its whoever pushed it off. But then as y'all are standing there looking, it looks at you and then stands up on the back four and. And they all leap at you. Everybody roll initiative. You said initiative. Yeah. That's just what it felt like. Jesus Six, dude. Eight. That's such a Pokemon moment. Oh, I'm yeah. so mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I gotta First remember up. how to pull everything that extra that I get. What's your initiatives? 20 plus. Anybody? 15 to 20? No. Nah. I got a 14. 10 to 15? I there got a go. 6, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, 14 hep. <laughs> well, any, 5 to 10? 4? I got 8. Eight. Okay. 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 I got a six. <laughs> Eight <laughs> on the van. <laughs> six on the Dream, and four on the Jacks. Sweet. We wrote some great initiative. The two that leap off, though one of them just leaps off twenty feet down to the ground and stumbles crunching against the metal floor, <laughs> landing against the train floor, and just <laughs> And then, um, does falling 20 feet count movement? Yeah. So that uh, counts as moving? Was it intentional? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it does that. Um, it is still 20 feet from y'all, basically, as it dashes forward. And then um, it will dash again to attempt. Who? What is my marching order here? Were y'all all kind of in a I line? Am, You're I know first. I was first, regardless of what it is, because I was leading with the thing. I, I was behind the at the end. And then y'all two uh, yeah. were like you're standing on his shoulders, like kind of behind that. Yeah. So first and yeah. foremost, this this thing just 
like, and it just starts crawling up your leg and crawls up to your shoulder. And then as you're looking at it in its eye, it like eye to eye, it turns its head 360 around, 360 back, and then just and opens up this tiny metal jaw. And that is its turn. Uh, Hep, what is your dexterity modifier? Wait, it's on me? It is on you. And that's yeah, its turn. How, it's just how, big, how big are these? I'm trying to conceptualize. This big. Oh, okay. All right. Like little footballs <laughs> with legs, like little tugboat bodies <laughs> with like <laughs> all silver and with this weird pterodactyl robot head <laughs> and eight okay. legs. Like little weird lizards. Hepin, it is your turn. You are on Jax's shoulders about 10 feet away behind. And you see this little metal lizard thing crawl up Dream and just scream metal death and open its little jaws to bite when it can. He's on top of him, right? He's like on his shoulder. On yeah. his shoulders? Yeah, like, I'm just gonna like you fly, can fly up to its so you back can literally, and just start. Yeah, 10 feet. Staff. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you are a swashbuckler? Yeah, right, so I get a three? bunch of extra stuff. What so is it that I- Roll to <laughs> hit. So I get a bunch of extra stuff. All I know about rogues is, is that you roll a lot of dice when you attack. You definitely can. So first off, see if you hit the guy at all. About to say, okay. where's that um, next money? Oh, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't start, I mean, do it. Not me. Please do Ooh, we got a 12 plus, plus five, right? My hit PC, right? A short sword? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With total of? So 17. 17 hits. So y'all see Hep just without question, just, and just like, yeah! <laughs> fly forward and just skewer this thing right in the body. Um, so roll damage and you get sneak attack die because you have a friend within five feet. It's 15 total. 15 total. I got a two on that first roll. Um, funny like enough, plus three. with the damage of it jumping itself off of the, off of the ledge, <laughs> it, you literally skewer it through its body off his shoulder and into the air as it <laughs> and it falls Ooh. limp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's just on your uh, on your thing. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Next up is the uh, in front of you. The other one jumps off the ledge now enthused as it it like makes it kind of skitters <laughs> across <laughs> across the um, railing above you off that terrace and then just leaps for you uh, which I don't think it's even close so it's going to go 20 feet so far. yeah and it's just going to like the whole time its head is locked in on Hep and it's just running like <laughs> <laughs> as it launches itself across and just <laughs> and just splats onto the ground um, a good 10 feet away from Doreen's feet as it stands itself up and then um, crawls up Doreen's body again as it just <laughs> and it's on your shoulder but it is looking at uh, Hep right now <laughs> which means it is Van's turn. <laughs> there is still also gotcha. the one on the ground, ten feet away, the original one. All right, so I'm like right, I'm right next to them, right? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm gonna reach out with my giant bunny <laughs> hand, and I'm going to attempt to palm it in a grapple. So I'm gonna use my <laughs> okay. attack action to grapple this <laughs> okay. little mechanical thing. I got a twenty total, not natural. <laughs> It rolls a 12 <laughs> total. So as it like is gearing itself up, this one, um, a tail extends out from its backside and a little razor saw just 
starts whirring up as it gears up to leap at Hep as it's just yanked off <laughs> and held up into the air. So then, since we're a monk, um, I'm going to use a key point here uh -huh. to do one bonus attack, which I'm going to count as me trying to crush it. You want a key point double try to crush? So yeah, I'm going to attempt to do an unarmed strike, and then what well, do you want to do that first? Yeah, you you crush any? Um, I'm gonna try. I think I think if you're spending the key point, you have to do that's how you get to do two unarmed strikes or something else, right? Yeah. So I'm replacing my second unarmed strike with something else. I so, think so specifically, as a way of mercy, monk, he can do that when he flirty of blows. So he can do one unarmed strike and then also a sick. Hand of harm or hand of healing. Let's go Which for I'm it. Definitely yeah. going. So to we're doing it. flurry of blows first. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna. We can flavor either. You give it a. <laughs> you can either give it one of these. Or a, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Palm it and yeah. punch it once Just, in the face. Gah, gah, gah. Or you can crush it. Like whatever, whatever flavor you want. All roll right, for well, it. I'll, I'll roll. So I rolled an eighteen plus six. <laughs> okay. For the hit. I think. Let um, me check my. Uh, let me check my stats. Yes, that seems to hit. <laughs> so. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading this again. So specifically, you can use your hand of healing with a flurry of blows, mm -hmm. but a hand of harm is you would have to spend an additional key point to add the damage, your uh, your uh, hand of harm damage to an attack. Gotcha. So it would take two, te so the it would take key another point key to point. Do. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to crush it with the first unarmed strike, yeah. and then I'm going to punch it in the face for the second one. <laughs> Okay. Both hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first one hits at an 18 plus. The second okay. one is. Second one is a nat 20, baby. Oh my god. Okay, so um, you hear? So the we'll just go roll. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna take this from you. Go ahead and roll some damage. Um, I'm sure. I rolled two ones and a four total. Those were my three rolls. Five, six plus four plus four. Ten, fourteen. 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 14. Yeah, yeah, 14. 14. So. All right. So. So the first crush, it goes. And then it just. And the light in its eyes go out as it looks at you. <laughs> and it crumbles and into nothing in your hands. <laughs> yeah. And it just crumbles on the ground as the last one standing goes and it turns and it starts <laughs> to book it away as this happens we are out of combat you hear a voice damn it Whoa, 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 what do you, don't, no, 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 oh my, no, no, this is, this is all wrong, this is all wrong, no, no, it's just, stop it, and out of about five buildings down, um, a tall, seven foot two man with, uh, little pointy ears and a set of goggles just uh very similar to yours dreams uh that they like like a set of like five spectacles each right like they all just off he has a long red coat as he walks out and the little lizard robot thing crawls up onto him onto his shoulders and he's like oh oh my goodness i'm so <laughs> i am so sorry these are not meant to they just kind of they do what they do i I'm, I'm so sorry um i did not know um we had guests today um this is uh this is this is a little uh what, who who are you? Um, how did you get back here? This is um, is Graina with you? I thought Graina was supposed to meet the guests. Uh, I'm just looking. Uh, I'm looking to we're group. back at the, the Piper's store and got Sarah sent us. <sighs> yeah. I why did your machines attack us? Oh oh, I'm sorry. Uh, come come on out, boys. And behind him, um, you hear this rumble from the house and it's just as 10 20 60 100 
of the little ro robot lizards come pouring out of the doorway that he walked out of and crawl up the wall and stop and a floating white orb with a red glowing eye in the middle flies out too. One j leaps off after it as it just ducks and it's like, <laughs> and they're all just like looking at each other and hitting each other as they're just like, okay, company. And they all just stop. These things kind of get out of hand. They're, they just, they multiply <laughs> all the time. Um, you came from uh, Piper's? Is that right? I'm gonna look over at Doreen. Do you know him? I have no clue who he is. <laughs> I don't know why. Over to Jax. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? He, uh, this dude is not a robot man, just so we know. This dude is like uh, the equivalent oh, of a... Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah. Jax yeah, walks up to this new guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's just kind of like, looking up at him. 50 feet off, you looks, just start walking the whole distance. And he's just uh -huh. like looking at you like he's kind of like okay all right all right you're up, walking up, up, up. all right hello and i come up to him and i look up at him and yeah hyper uh, oh um <laughs> i could have sworn i shut those machines down those um Huh. The machines, honestly, my little kitty widgets probably got them back up and running somehow. They're really smart. They're kind of, they're kind of not. And they're just like screaming. I know, I know. And as he says this, this fat, like this big, what is that? Two feet, like lumbering, gigantic kitty widget comes crawling out of the hole as little pods of that are about the size of what a kitty widget was um, seem to fall off of it. And as they hit the ground, uh, energy sparkles off to them as kitty widgets are seemingly born. He's like, oh God, sorry. No one's supposed to see this, this process. I've been toying with some Don't, don't look at He just kind of like, and like the big lumbering one is like, and he's like, just go, go back inside. Go back, go back. It's, it's a whole nest thing. Um, please, if you, if, when you see a Dane, just please don't tell about any of this. This is not what you're supposed to do. I don't really know how you got on the train um, as you are. My name is Hollander. Um, I am a part of the incredible Track Fantastic. And you, little guy, are really young to be a noble. <laughs> what? Uh, where did you come from? What house? Are you a gleam? Um, are you an um, oak? Um, he's with me. I'm a, a Thayer. You probably know my mother. Right. Uh, Kingdom of Ithel. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Pirates. Oh, a trine. Noble. So I, so <laughs> can Jax make a uh, history check on Noble? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Make one. Go for it. Uh -huh. You can also kind of add in their kingdom of um, Athayim, Athayim, right? A-T-H-A-M. Yeah. A-E-T-H-I-L yeah. is what I have. Athayim, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dice have a story to tell. Oh, I just God. rolled a 25. Okay, all right. <laughs> you, I am so excited. You understand... Where is that document? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> as, um, as he says, noble, Jax begins to start uh, retroact, like uh, spewing information about different noble houses that exist on Track, ma track Majestic and on like Karth almost at large. Okay. It's never um, like anything specific, but it's more like the, the general history of like their peoples and their cult and their peoples and like what they what their what their houses are known for and stuff like that so yeah. you basically just start like yes noble <laughs> found from the royal cities cities all over the world track majestic um those of uh from the castle decks were nobles the fuel sanith noblest of all like uh the the from the luster hold the states then you start just giving off all this information as you hear um where hep is from um, you start listing off a, um, you basically start listing off, 
the trines, the pirate islands, uh, over in <laughs> Karth, uh, Karth Still, and you start listing off the Three Kingdom system, where the head trine above uh, in the air, they all have this like weird dichotomy of like the head trine uh, is always head of the triangle, and the underwater city and the above on water city, they all vie for power every ten years. But uh, you just start listing off noble names, and then you talk about Shimmermore, and like you j- and he's like, okay, 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 oh, you're, good, okay. you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, oh. you're good. This is honestly not my purview. I'm kind of like the engineer here, right? So it's not really, oh. uh, it's not really up to me. Um, I'm sorry that this is your welcome here. I guess uh, this is probably. I got to imagine Where it's Where is everyone else? Yeah, that's honestly it's what I was wondering. I don't really know. I'm not this is not really I'm not really to entertain the guests of <laughs> Track Fantastic. And I and at at this you hear this um loud raucous crashing noise as from at the end of the street off in the distance um this little brain in a tuxedo come for lack of a better phrase comes crashing through this window of a tavern and it just crashes through and it slaps down straight onto the onto the cement the the like metal floor uh that you're standing on and then it just gets up looks over at y'all and is like hop 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 hop, hop and runs back into the bar and Hollander just does this happen often here? Honestly, between you and me, what's your name? I'm Doreen. As you speak, he just like, huh. and his he's just smiling at you, <laughs> and a little uh, he has like a red orb on his chest into like uh, like a metal harness right that he's wearing that you see glow under his red coat, and also as you're looking at this, you see this. Um, red symbol of a spark on his red jacket and he just smiles and he's like oh well you're definitely a noble aren't you (laughs) I've never seen anything what are you what are you and he's looking at the little guy and then he looks Um. up and he looks up at Van and he's like know what you are Love the coat. Love what you done with the thing. It's very, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You got the, you know, yeah. normally y'all wear it around, you know, but you got the, and you wear, oh, you just wear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to him, put my hand out, and then just drop the little body into, <laughs> <laughs> into his hand of his little guy. Oh, th- thank you. And then the other kitty, uh, the other kitty widgets just start singing this song. Like they, for lack of a, but they literally just. Like they stop <gasps> because normally they're shifting about and they're poking at each other and like they look at it and they're like, uh, and they all start swaying uh, and he's like, okay, I, I y'all we don't have to do the song of the dead thing every single time. You know I could just fix it. As they uh, as they do that, I just kneel down towards it and can I just start like repairing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you Can do I you want to like do the whole thing? Kind of like give it like a little upgrade too. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't. Okay. Well, first, <laughs> I've never seen this thing before. I'm gonna upgrade it. I will say as um, Dareem starts to work on it, there's this like solemn look on Jax's face. Yeah, and he reaches down and starts to cast mending on it. <laughs> As, okay. as he is uh, working on it physically. Yeah. Okay, so this, I'm just going to paint some pictures here. This seven foot two Goliath in his big old meaty hands has this dead lizard robot and y'all have just walked up to it and he's like, uh, okay. And he like kind of shows it to you and you just like, huh. And your little, your fingers literally out a screwdriver. Right. And you just start like kind of poking and prodding as Jax does the same thing. And just like the, there seems to be a red crystal glowing on his palm that just kind of fires up and the energy um, washes over as like little cracks are broken and he's like <laughs> alright yeah so it's cool to see um, what guns people are packing y'all, y'all are some y'all are some crazy ones aren't you <laughs> could you uh, tell me where where we're heading to I had drink oh oh yeah of course honestly 
Honestly, you uh, just just follow me, and then he like kind of like nudges the big fat one, um, the thick kitty widget, the thicky widget. I'm gonna call it now, and it oh, just God. and it's been singing <laughs> along. Two and C's. It's just, and then they all start making this like. It's like okay, listen. Next time these things attack you, they they can hurt you. So if you got to put them down, you got to put them down. But just um, leave them. I'll find them. They're they're all over the ship. Like they're fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Company. Can I get one as a pet. Huh? And I have one as a pet. Probably not. But we could revisit it. We could revisit it. <laughs> well, if you make it, why can't can't you just like? I make, make it, it like to me? have. Uh, feelings and to do its own stuff honestly so i try it's like i try right i've heard of these things they're called like dogs oh. and so um, i have to persuade it you could you could try but um do they eat something that i need them to help me work on the big old ship that we're on Right, this whole train thing. I I need sorry train. I keep doing that. We need to work on our. I need them to help me, um, in the engine ducts and the trainway, the railway. Uh, they've got to keep the engine going. They're extremely. It doesn't really matter. That's not what y'all are here for. You are here for the extreme fantastic package. I know why you're here. You're on your way to Shimmermore. You finally did it. You found your way onto a city train. You did it. And don't we have having a lot in store for you here actually here go get get you get come on go come on guys and he turns and the big one thicky widget starts singing their sad song as he lifts the dead one down onto it um he motions for the other dead one for someone to pick it up and throw it to him come on mm. just just take me hand me that please we hand me that you pick Trucks it up, it. And you toss it to him, and he, he lifts that down, and like a crowd surfing dead little bodies, these hundreds of kitty widget lizard robots all crawl off into that hole that they came out of, into that doorway, and they go off into the distance. All right. Um, you know, this isn't really my thing, but uh, we'll get you to Grena at the very least. Honestly... I don't really know her shtick, but she's probably over at that bar. So, I mean, if I had to take a guess where they are. Uh, and I'll put in a word what to Noth to come to Oh, he's just one of the workers. Yeah, you'll see. We'll see. Come here, come here, come here. After you. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. This, this is what you came here for, right? I mean, that's why you're on the, this is why you're here. Invitations, um, you know, big royals, nobles, finally on the city train. Next up, heaven tracks, and then uh, find your way to shimmer more. That's the, that's the that's the thing, right? That's that y'all know what the deal is. We, um, yeah. Is there um, is there any like you're a human of some, or your flesh? You're not a. I mean, you're not a robot. No, no, right? I'm I'm a. Are you uh, a robot? You I'm a barm. Did I see them glow? Oh, he Blue. he um, <laughs> he has like a metal yeah, vest kind of on right. with like an inlet yeah. like Iron Man shit in the middle that mm -hmm. glowed, right? But it it doesn't seem to be like mm -hmm. in his chest. It's something he's wearing. Are there any other mm -hmm. like not robots here? Yeah, there's tons, and that's that's where we're going. I promise all of your answers. Mm -hmm. All your questions will be answered if you just uh, just can we just get to get to Grena, right? She'll hand you off to Noth, get to go to do the whole festival thing. It's a whole rigmarole. I'm sure you've read about it in the pamphlets. And um, I, I honestly, this is this is hey. Um, and he kind of leans back and he like hand in his ear and he like touches something and he's like, Eni, yeah, in the bar. She's what? Well, you have people. What do you mean? Well. We're Steven. Um, okay. Well, that's you, not my job. Can, can you, can you give us just a a quick moment? Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I'll be, I'll be, ourselves. I'll be right here. Yeah, Thank I'll be you. right here. Well, what do you mean? Uh, can we like, do wasted. like a, a powwow, like yeah. a little huddle? And he will, type of he'll, thing? he'll walk off on his Bluetooth. Okay. Um, I don't know if he is leading us to the same place that the artifact is leading us. Um, I mean, where, yeah, sounds where is it pointing? Right. I, I'll, I'll see. <laughs> I guess I, I'll lift it up. Uh, can you guys like 
I don't know. Can you cover me? I step right behind him <laughs> and just leave him in my shadow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do that. <laughs> yeah, you do up. that. Um, I just try to listen to it. Can I like go fly up to one of the windows and look inside, like yeah. for, like the nearest building that's yeah. around? Like I'm gonna go like absolutely fly so, up and look in the windows. So are there people uh, there? What's in? uh, during first, as you do, it is pointing essentially what I'm going to call northward from here on out. The back of the train right. is the south. The fr going towards the front of the train is the north. Um, it is pointing towards the large tunnel way that is at the end of this section of the train. The bar okay. that the little brain thing got thrown out of that he is, that Hollander is seemingly trying to take you to is the last building right before that um that tunnel so it's yeah. also in the direction okay. but the thing is not pointing at the bar it's pointing more it's pointing tunnel past yeah, yeah 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 um okay. and yeah uh, hep you take off into the air to just go check out a building um, i want to look through a window yeah 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 yeah. you you fly up um 10 20 feet you just kind of zip up there real quick kind of peter pan your way in uh, make a perception check uh eight eight so, looking through this window, basically what you see is a dusty apartment that had, looks like it hasn't been lived in in quite some while. Um, there's no signs of a struggle in here. It's just, it looks like um, if you were to look at a bedroom and kind of, it was there, people were living in it, and then those people were gone. And there are no signs of people. It's just like chairs. There nothing's it's like, like an abandoned town. Yeah, just nothing. Like yeah, without. nothing's kicked over. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a sign of struggle. Mm. It's just huh. a living room and like mounds of dust. Um, I'll fly back down. Mm -hmm. Dream and be like, where are we going? Which way are we head? Um, well, it's telling me to go in the direction that he is saying, but past where he is pa past the bar that he is trying to get us to go to. Okay, cool. Don't um, worry. I got it. Uh, I'm going to like fly over to Hollander and I'll be mm -hmm. like, hey, buddy, you seem super busy with like, you told me about the, en the engine stuff that you got to do. Yeah. Um, and wait, like, I'm sure on. it's a wait. lot of work. You yeah. the only person there. Wait, we'll, hold we'll on. Hold just head over. It's wait, the bar, on. right? No, no. Yeah, I'll walk you over. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I've got someone. I've got someone right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'll bring him in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just get your ass over here then. I don't know what the problem is. Okay? I don't care. Uh, let, we'll just like head up. Let's okay. just start walking as he's... So, uh, well, I'm just going to like start... He'll, as you f start flying away, if you try to fly north, right? Like like that way, right? Not necessarily like... Basically, yeah. from underneath his jacket, a fold will open and a metal arm, Doc Ock style, just stops and like stops you. Like it doesn't hurt you. It's not attacking you. It just yeah. kind of like he's giving you one of these as he's like on the phone from a, a metal arm from his jacket just ch -ch 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 in the air. And he's like, yeah, I got it. Hold on. Hold on. I got y'all. This is this is the whole thing. All right. And so he's like, OK, I'm getting off the phone. I'm getting off. I'm getting off the headset thing. OK, that I've made communicator that I don't call a phone, but <laughs> I'm speaking Karth and <laughs> technically <laughs> English is the, that's the closest <laughs> translation that I have. Anyways, you get it, Doth. OK, <laughs> fuck off. And he <laughs> he. Uh, he dings it. His uh, metal arm comes down. And he's like, "All right, well, um, I'm gonna hand y'all off to Graina, uh, in whatever condition she's in, and Noth will be on his way to show you the rest of the train going forward." Okay, that's kind of um, so. This way, y'all. Let's go. All right. Welcome to Track Fantastic. This I think I think they're supposed to do a whole thing when you get on the train. It's just it's just it's obviously really okay. We we can we come can on. make our way. No, is come he on. paying attention? If we just like let him walk um, and like not is, follow him, will he, he just like keep walking? He walks a foot. He takes a step and he waits. It's right back. <laughs> and he's looking at all of you. Come on. Uh, this way. All right, guys. I, Jax I follows. Think we, just I'm following. Go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While we're walking with him, or at least following after him, can I quickly just uh, in his ear? Uh, what was his name? Sorry. Hollander. Spark. Hollander. Hollander. Um, Hollander. Do you know what turn it is? 
<laughs> God damn it. Um, well, I, guess we're gonna make, I guess we're going to make this cannon. Um, uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Why? Did you lose, lose count? Uh, it is the... <clears throat> you are roughly... He tells you um, that it is the equivalent of the 26th day of the fourth month, right? So, okay. turn 26, uh, volume four. That's yeah. first First, what he says. If you want to ask more, because he did not give the, 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 the year, wave. Right? Yeah, he didn't give you the year yet. Which, which, I'm sorry, what word is that again? It's turn. Uh, turn to volume to, to wave. Uh, yeah. Wave. Honestly, uh, I'm not really worried about that. It is, he basically tells you it's the, it's, uh, month four, day twenty six. Of what wave? Interesting. Um, <laughs> it's uh, if you, if you just are like thirty, whatever the equivalent of however long I was gone, that works for me. That's essentially what I'm trying to ask. Gotcha. Here. He tells you it's basically uh, eleven ninety two, which okay. I'm just gonna throw out real quick. Makes no fucking sense in this number system actually because they don't count past eight. They go one to eight and then. A second set of one to eight. There are no nines. There are no tens. I was working on this with my dad all day today, and it's gonna, <laughs> it, 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 like literally just like it's really dumb. I, I could one pile eight stack you, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll flavor that stuff later, BB. If you want to get real we'll nerdy, fix post. yeah, we'll figure we'll it out. Um, he basically tells you it's like the year. Um, what I say, eleven ninety two. Eleven ninety two. Yeah. Which for sure. well, uh, Hep? Anyone else who hears this? Because he's not being quiet. That is congruent with what time you would expect it to be. Okay. Yeah. Um, also to Bunny Man, Bunny Van, um, this does seem to be roughly, uh, it's actually about 60 years later. Fuck. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I ask the question and then once he answers, I just kind of nod and continue going forward with him. Jax yeah. tries to sneak a piper into Hollander's pockets. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, make a sleight of hand check. Yeah, do it. I was like, come on, make him do it. <laughs> I got a 16. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> You're making me... Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. That's funny. Wouldn't be D&D. He didn't take it when Jax gave it to him. He's like... So, but Jax is like, this is amazing. He wants one. And then he tries to put it in his pocket. This is a perception check? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> um, he I have to I'm sorry I have to look up some stuff on the old person's oh God. you didn't account for us trying to slip him food really? I did not <laughs> go try to put stuff into his pockets which is even wilder um, more bizarre <laughs> um, cocked special child I mean, yeah, it works. A sixteen. Yeah. He did not roll that well, and he has a high plus on his on his wisdom, but only rolled a nine. So, <laughs> wow. he's really gonna love that later. <laughs> yeah, you, and Jax just kind of slide it to a coat pocket. Yeah, uh, he seems to have a ton of coat pockets on his back, and like like there's one like off to the side, and you just kind of doop. Do you know? So you've mm -hmm. crashed three, given away one. I said eight were in your hands. So I have four left. You have four, <laughs> four left. And I, if you look back, the, they disappear. They just seem to be disappearing. <laughs> like who knows <laughs> where, where they're all going? Um, there are still five in his pockets. True. Yeah. True. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you walk your way, and he's walking you over to uh, this bar. He's definitely mm. chaperoning you mm. on the way over. I guess we just follow. Shoot. <laughs> I'm following. I, while we're following, I'm actually going to take off my skull mask and slip it into his the pockets. satchel that I now have <laughs> okay, on yeah. my side. Yeah, yeah you have that. <laughs> hey, you, you've, you've always mm. had that. You're not going to try yeah, to yeah, I've, I've always had Is that. Is this our that. first time seeing his face? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, <gasps> 
Can yeah. I? Oh, you gonna move the top part of your face? Pocket him. Wait. Can I pickpocket Hollander? <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> I want to try. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I can get out of his pocket. Oh Slide a hand. God, if you Fucking nothing. A solid three. A six total. <laughs> six total. Um. Yeah. So. Oh boy, oh. He's gonna get aggro. So. Uh. <laughs> he's gonna get upset. Um, <laughs> uh, so basically, <laughs> um, first, Jax looks at, oh, your face, <laughs> as you're looking at the skull, Hollander does look over, and as you just kind of float behind, right, and go, mm, don't mind if I do, <laughs> and you just try to, like, <laughs> pick a, pick a jacket pocket, a, um, f that floating white orb with the red eye just kind of crests around his body because it's just been orbiting him and it just stares at you and oh. um and it's just looking I'm at just you i'm just looking and go shh <laughs> 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 it goes like to the side like <laughs> and then spark the hollander goes did you just? Did you? I'm just gonna like follow around as he yeah, turns. Yeah, he's turning. Yeah. It's like I'm behind him. Yeah. Back. It, stop! I can oh see you through goodness. the. I can see you through that. Did you just get? Where are you? Stop it! And he turns the other way as he all just starts circus music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, listen, like, listen. I just go straight. Did you? Did yeah. you shush my floating robot? <laughs> like that's okay. Um, to be fair. If you're trying to steal stuff off me, you're not the first noble. <laughs> Probably won't be the last game respect game, but I really have to get back to work. So off you go, please, into this bar. And at this point, he has led y'all to the, the Golden Quartz Tavern. As he does, the basically what happens is as he's like, all right, oh, come on, come on, they'll take care of you. Um... You hear off in the distance, in the tunnel, to the north, a shimmering, like, purple energy is kind of, like, stopping you seeing through it. It and opens up as this, um, about five foot ten, um, elf with, like, deep purple skin and, like, shadowy pupils with glowing, like, white pupils right in the middle, um, and, and, and like, very frilly at the, at the neck, um, just this huge, uh, like, over-the-top coat with, like, spirally shoes off the front of it and a large top hat and a cane is just, like, he's, like, putting his coat on as he comes running through the tunnel. He's like, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry. That's, this, this was supposed to be my job. And I did not do that very well. Welcome, everyone, into the bar. Drinks for everyone. Welcome to Track Majestic. And he's a he's a kid. Oh, is you're just saying that? <laughs> no, I'm saying that I was pointing at. Um, oh, at <laughs> Jax. <Jacks. laughs> yeah. Um. Honestly, we don't really have any sort of like legal drinking you just hear I don't care you can have milk too like you can kind of do it you're a, royal, you're a royal like you can do whatever you want <gasps> um, I can the white sludgy equivalent of milk on Karth that gives you protein and nutrients because there is no cow what was it called uh, it is called Therafel yeah you think I'm not just gonna yeah yeah I thought you were just gonna make some some stuff up. That's what it's called. Say something like like kilt. <laughs> nope. Or something. I don't um, know. You know what? It's, it's called, called kilp. That is what nope. it's called. It's called <laughs> kilp, and it is a sludgy white kilp. thing that a lot of people all over the planet Wait, are you try serious? to convince. Are you changing the name right now to <laughs> being called kilp. I'm I made, it down well, down. well, I made up Therafel, so I like kilp more. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I bullshit all of this. I have. I'm making this up as we go. You think I have? I guess I could, but you think I have milk set out? What really happened is I. I, realized I, mean, I said you know, the, you he said the word milk. Milk doesn't exist here because cows don't exist here. And I was like, well, this doesn't make any sense. And so I we have, but the <laughs> the Karth equivalent of kilp um, is what he says this young child can have. As um, huh. Hollander turns around, is like, okay, I'm gonna get back to it. That's good meeting y'all. 
Um, treat him like shit, because it's funny to me. <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all later. And he's like, I mean, seriously, this is like the thing. This is, oh my God. All right, um, d- welcome everyone. Hollander leaves Noth. He introduces himself. I am Noth, the Festmaster. Welcome to Track Fantastic. If you would just into the bar, we can get the, we can get you the, all the starting accoutrement for you to enjoy your stay here at the wonderful Track Fantastic. That's what we're here. That's 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 all we got to do. Okay. Then you get to enjoy the festival. Then you get to have a great stroll in Oasis Park. And then eventually you get to have an incredible dining uh, expertise area in the Royal Room. You get you get the whole thing. You get the whole package. Okay. So to the bar. I to the bar. We, uh, <laughs> the child <laughs> says. I guess we follow. On the way in, under my breath to Doreen. I'd be like, is it fantastic or majestic? As we're going. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, let's just let's just find out. <clears throat> right then. <laughs> and this is where we are going to stop this session for Yay. for now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's about to get just goes downhill from here (laughs) we were really trying to ditch homeboy man yeah yeah no i respect it (laughs) hardcore i respect it 